God damn it! It's Sunday, August yeah. 16th, 2020. Yeah. I'm Heston. It's the boy Dame. What's good? And we're definitely not experts. At all. <laughs> I'm At all. fucking pissed. God damn it. Fucking Memphis, my guy. What the fuck? These assholes lose almost every game in the bubble and give San Antonio and Phoenix fans all of the hope in the world. These sons oh. of bitches. And you know what? Uh. It's, it's because of two <laughs> fucking people. No, no. So the Memphis organization, fuck you, first of all. J- just like, we got to get that out of the way first. Second, Giannis, fuck you for headbutting a motherfucker. Like, this is fucking, like, they don't even let that go in UFC. Like, what the fuck is this? Bro. Like, Kimbo Slice Days? Bro. They don't fucking headbutt anybody. A whole headbutt? A whole headbutt. So- the whole head. Hit the fucking Greek feet. Yeah. The freak, bro. The whole ass head. You see what the fuck I'm talking about? You see what the fuck I'm talking about? What's that? Because last week we discussed Harden having an issue with Giannis. Nah, saying that with Giannis. Now you see, bro, you also oh, we had men people now? Yeah, like what the fuck? So is we that? had men people now. And did you, is did that you Greek? See, did you see? Is it? that Greek? Is that Greek? I mean, it might be. Is that Greek? I'm, I mean, I'm, 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 I'm not an expert. So. I don't, I mean, I don't study <laughs> the philosophy, but I might have to look now. Yeah, we might have to see if like a headbutt is some sort headbutt? of. Headbutt? Yeah. Bro, a whole headbutt. A whole headbutt. On a dude that's not nowhere near your level yeah, yeah. Like some of goodness. I mean, relatively, I don't even remember who it was, but it's uh, not <laughs> I do, but I, I'm not even going to put Giannis on that on that uh-huh, type of a, uh-huh. of a step right now. Really? That guy? That guy. John, Giannis. That that dude I'm made actually, you mad. I'm surprised he only got a one-game suspension. Oh, my God. I'm but not. I thought it would be more. Bias. Bias? Yeah. Why? Uh, against who? Milwaukee. I, I like Milwaukee. Bro, anybody here but somebody in the fucking league? No, I was saying, I thought he would get suspended for longer. That's what I'm saying. So, you, so you're so you saying what the fuck should have happened. But, yeah. But what happened? Oh, you're saying they have bias. Yeah, Oh, I thought you were saying I had bias. No, I was not, like, what are you nah, talking about? bro. Yeah, look, okay. I already know you don't. No. But what <laughs> I'm saying is, you telling me this dude took a dude's head, bro, and... Nigga, like, well, dude, he didn't even grab him, dude. He just, nah, like, he just went like arms behind him, just like, bro, so on that shit. Anybody who's watched the bubble up until now, we've seen Giannis tell multiple players, "I will fuck you up. I'm the wrong dude. I will fuck you up." I kind of like that energy, though. That's that's fine, but but if you're the best player on the team. And you're the MVP, right? I think that's you're the, the MVP. I think that's the kind of energy you want from your leader, man. It's in like, what? It's like, it's like Pat Bev, But bro. in what way, bro? It makes y'all bad. It makes y'all bad boys, man. So him like, headbutt somebody, nigga, makes them better. The headbutt, I think, is ridiculous. But I think the energy is good. But that's the thing. That's where self control comes under play. Like you don't bro, need to be headbutt. No, you're the main dude on this team. Yeah, you know we don't got shit. It's pretty much just you. So all you gotta do is just. Well, they already had the one seed. You literally d- didn't need but, to do anything else, bro. I get it, but at the same time, right? You want your best players to perform and do what they need to do, even with them being the first seed. Uh huh. So example, right? So you're just I like, like LeBron. So you're saying like all gas, no breaks, right? Like just go out there and ball out. Like, That's it, bro. Okay. It's uh-huh. just a basketball game. Sure. This ain't no personal ties, bro. No. Don't be out there trying to say, nigga, yeah, I'll be, beat your yeah, ass. be a professional. There are certain players that know you can beat their ass. Like, they already know that. I mean, it's Giannis. He could probably Dude, a lot of people. Dude, just a whole bunch of people in the yeah. whole league, nigga, right yeah. now. Uh-huh. If they wanted to, this is Sparta. Like, he yeah. would be <laughs> fucking everybody off. Uh-huh. He was a little bit out of line to say, like, Bob will beat your ass. But let me hear but you know, to let you know. Yeah, that's kind of nuts. But yeah. the, the games he played with other people, uh-huh. I've I've seen him say the same words. Dead ass. I will beat your ass. So, when you really watch in the bubble, bro, uh-huh. to me, uh-huh. I watch multiple games. They don't say, they don't uh, present to you as, like, a watcher or a viewer. Oh, no, they don't want that. Everything that they say. Dude, I wish they did. Do you know how much Dude, better that would make I wish game? that they would, too. Well, that's kind of, we've gotten a little bit of that, though. Since the bubble started, bro. we have been hearing bro. a little bit. We of, heard a little, little, little bit, bit more. Sucks. Yeah, this is the thing. Sucks. This is the thing. Uh-huh. When I watched regular basketball when they had fans, yeah. I was still kind of able to hear that I, shit. Yeah, sometimes. So, I mean. Uh-huh. And you can read their lips a right. lot of the time. It's too, not right? a favor for me. Giannis has to be smart enough 
to not be that like is, that is a good point though like when you're in a leadership come position, on bro like even if you're trying to go all gas no brakes like you still have to show a level of restraint and lead by example for the people beneath you. But if you never do, yeah, then, that's, then that's how can we learn? Yeah. Then we don't learn. That's and true. we're going to talk about that later. How much bullshit is it to you that our playing was Memphis and the Blazers? How do, how do you feel about it? Because I think it's pretty clear how I feel about it. Well. I'm not happy. The Suns, did, did you see the, the, I feel the great. speech? Did you I see feel the great. speech that... that, um, that the Suns head coach gave them Monty Williams. Dude, I it did. was it was really it was like some heart I to did. heart shit, man. Like I did, but they he's right with what he said in their look, speech though. Like they earned the respect of the league. They did, but the, but but for how long? This is a bubble. TJ Warren popping off. Next, all these dudes next that season, don't pop off. Next season's gonna start in the bubble too, man. Think about this though, in a league uh-huh. where it wasn't bubble. TJ Warren wasn't good. Well, what if he just hit his stroke? Phoenix Suns wasn't good. Like, we go to this bubble method. Mm-hmm. Y'all went eight games straight. Now, I'm going to give them credit hard as fuck. I think to they me, deserve to get in. I'm going to be real. I think they deserve it more. If you win eight games straight, you get that, it. to me, should have make you an automatic well, here's buy-in. The, here's the thing. Uh, n- That's an automatic we can, buy-in. We can even compromise. Like, just at least a Bro, play-in. Look. At, at least get a shot. You Bro. know what I mean? Like, they've beaten everybody. Look. To me, that's like, an automatic buy-in. Yeah. So at when I when, when I was watching Memphis play Portland, right? For the Memphis plan. was winning, dog. They were like close to almost the game is over, and then I, out of nowhere, bruh, Portland just bruh, I started going even, fucking bruh, crazy. I didn't even realize. Look, I thought I thought Memphis was still the eight, bro. I didn't realize that the bro, Blazers were the eight, bro. My only problem with that is if. A team goes to like the bubble. Mm-hmm. You have to have a fucking rule for that, bro. Like, there's no way that a team can come. It's pretty fucked. And go eight and zero, and, and then go. get in the, yeah, yeah, in, like, into the playoff yeah, movement. It's like they already got invited, so if they go undefeated, like you should. That means yeah, they're. It should bro. mean something. Yeah, I think so. So they did that, mm-hmm. and then they just said, "Well, you didn't just rank up enough, so." Sorry, you don't have a chance. It's between the Spurs and Portland. All Portland has to do is win one game? To me, that's fucking bizarre. That's fucking bizarre. Memphis is the eighth seed. So no, no, Portland. No, 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 they weren't. Portland bro, got the eight seed. So they tied it well, up yeah. into the point, right? Yeah, but they had the tiebreaker. Yeah. So if that was the case, right? If, um, but look, man. Oh, my gosh, bro. If Portland mm-hmm. is a team, right, yeah. to go with, then I'm okay with everything. Like, Dude, I'm that, perfectly... That playing, the end of that game was nuts. Like, Memphis won that game. This but is the dude, thing. John Morant, as bro. good as he played, he bro. choked that game away. He bro. had three turnovers in the last five minutes. So, let me be real with you, right? If Memphis is eight... And then other teams are playing in. That would have meant that w- whatever eight game stretch that we're talking about, Portland did better than Memphis. What it doesn't mean is the playoff spot. So Portland, to me, should have had to win two fucking games. You're Not saying, one. You're saying that because Memphis entered as the eight. Memphis was already there at eight. Right. So you think that like as long as Memphis was still included, whoever even with a hurt there, dude. Yeah. Because we know the dude that Josh, Josh got hurt. Sure. Yeah. We know that. Yeah. Portland has to win two fucking games. If y'all play one game and they, they don't even have a squad like that, John Morant still dropped thirty five. So yeah. let's not be weird about That's it. That's true. Yeah. John Morant still dropped 35. Let, let's be real about this. Yeah, he'll drop 35. He's fighting for his fucking life. He'll drop 35 every single fucking game mm-hmm. to make the playoffs. Mm-hmm. Y'all only have one game, and y'all are saying that if y'all beat Memphis, who's been sending it the A seed the whole season, y'all are able to get in. I don't like it. How is that fucking fair, bro? Hey, let's be real, too. Do you think How the is Blazers... that fair? Okay, here's the thing, right? It's fucking dumb. I think the Suns 
It's dumb. I think they would give. I think Look, they would give the Lakers a lot more trouble. I think the Blazers are going to get the shit beat out of them. This is my perspective. Like on they it. always make, the, dude. It's the same thing every year. They make the playoffs and then they have like a cut. Like Damian Lillard will make a couple. You have a series court, or two or a game or two, and that's beat, it, bro. They get beaten five, and that's like, it every fucking and that's time. It. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Like I'm so, so like that's why I'm so bummed. Like here's the thing. Like if the Suns oh of the Spurs made gosh, it, like even bro. unbiased, if the Suns of the Spurs made it. It would have still been fun. You know what I mean? Like, you have that huge, like, underdog story. Like, you're excited. Like, even you as a LeBron fan, I think you could admit it'd be way more entertaining. I can't fucking admit. Because. Like, no one wants to watch the Lakers beat the Blazers because we all fucking know it's going to happen. Portland just made it to the finals, like, last year. Like, if Portland made it to the fucking finals, bro, like, last year. They really didn't. You, oh, Look com- it up. Conference files? I'm telling. No, nigga. Yes. 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 That doesn't sound right yes. to me. It doesn't sound right to you because no, they I'm, got bro. they got beat by the Who? Thunder, right? When? Because Dame. No, no, no. Bro. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm no, telling no, 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 no. Dame, Look it Dame up, bro. Put Thunder away. Look it up right now, George. So you can look it up right now while we're talking. I'm telling you right now, bro. Portland was just in the fucking conference. Finals, bro, to win a championship versus the East like a year ago. Fucked it up. They fucked it up. Now, I don't know if they fucked it up or if people were hurt, but Portland was in there. My only problem with that is, bro, we got to be real. We got to be real. Wow, you're right. I'm telling you, yeah, bro. Yeah, they lost to the All right, bro, Warriors. you know I know this no, shit. No, you do. I just, Who did I, they lose to? The Warriors. Golden State, bro. Yeah. Golden State. Right. You know what happened? Do you think they'll, they, they're not good enough to win a championship? No. They're not. No. Like, so, they, they might so get close. but All this happening win. right now, yeah. Golden State is on like a, not Golden State, um, Portland is on like a, I'm glad we're in the news type of story. Well, yeah, they're, I mean, they're, well, they're, Damian, they, they Damian know. Lillard's, Damian Lillard's reaction like, when they beat the Nets, like bro. just that like sigh of relief. It's almost like that's just where they're at. Like, come on, they're bro. just lucky to be in. The, this is the only thing. And that let's I, be real. They should have lost to the Nets without KD, without Kyrie. This and, is what I like, told you though. Yeah. The bubble is fucking intense, bro, and it's different because you'll have a dude that's your main score, but he's having a fucking baby. And so he leaves to go be with his wife in the in that. Who's and this? you be like, wait, well, what the fuck, bro? There have been multiple people that have done well, it already well, in the Conley, bubble. Well, I was gonna talk about that. Mike Conley just left the bubble for Mike the first Conley, kid. Mike Conley, Dennis Schroeder, dude, like, dude, playoffs bro, start tomorrow, bro. They start what, tomorrow. Is he gonna? That's like, is what he gonna miss I'm a game talking or about, bro. Like, what's gonna happen? That is what I'm saying. So this bubble shit, to me, the best shit that they did was saying next year, and we're gonna talk about this. They're allowing guest visitors to be at the bubble, and so yeah, they're allowing you have like, to. like friends and family. You have to. They still got to go through like hell. Like they got to go through a lot to get. So there. if yeah. you're there, and you deserve to be there, then good. You pass all them fucking tests. Yeah, I agree. That's what it is right now. I agree. Like there's nothing different. So yeah, yeah it's, it's it's fucking nuts right now. And so to me. I'm not going to lie, bro. I still feel like the Lakers are going to mock them in five. I think five. I would give six at most. It won't but get there. It won't get there. I do know Damon Lillard will like he'll dribble like across he'll half like court and shoot a three yeah, and hit like, like five of them. Like and CJ CJ will get like 20, 25. That's what I'm saying. Like, like It won't be enough. The difference will be Nurkic, who's been hurt. He's been playing like a champ, though. He's going to have to keep playing like that, though, against Anthony Davis. Yeah, he's going to have to get his own, like, 20, bro, 25. If they're on gonna Anthony like Davis, that. though. Yeah. On Anthony Davis. Yeah. Bro, these teams you've been playing, they don't got no fucking Anthony Davis. It's true. Lakers have... Bro, Lakers have... They won't be getting all these offensive rebounds bro, like they have been. It won't happen. Bro. You playing against a big man well, then, who's um, better than you? Well, Valanciunas, like he's good, but Anthony Davis is like Valanciunas with Toronto though, so he out of there now. No, uh, who's the guy for um, the big in Memphis? Oh, it, oh, in Memphis. Yeah, yeah, in Memphis. It's not Valanciunas no more. He left. I thought it. Their big was Josh Jackson, bro. I'm telling you. No, no, and no. And he no, got they... hurt. Their big was Jackson, bro. He got hurt. No, the dude that looks like Travis Kelsey. He's got like a really thick beard. He looks like. <laughs> I mean, you can look it up for us right yeah, now, real yeah. quick. I'm telling you right now, this is this is what made Memphis fuck up. 
They had a big Jackson. Uh-huh. He got fucking hurt. That's it's over with, bro. It's over with. If if, if they would have had him, I personally think they would have won. The only difference would have been right if Memphis would have won. Dude, then, it is Valanciunas, you fuck. You son of a bitch. Valanciunas plays for what team? He plays for Memphis. You asshole. You could be right. I could be right. Dude, I'm, I'm looking at it. You son of a bitch. I know, I know, I know you're looking at it. I'm <laughs> glad bitch. that you're looking at it. God damn it. <laughs> Calling me Good. out of my bullshit. All right, so I, I can tell you this right now. Valanciunas ain't doing shit. Well, no, he played well, but my point is that he's Boy, not Anthony Davis. Look. He's not Anthony Davis. Look, he's not going to play well against Anthony Davis. He wouldn't play well against no fucking... Bro, you got to start thinking about other teams that could be a threat to them. Porzingis? Dog, he's not doing shit against none of any other dude you would say. Mm -hmm. Yeah, puts him almost last place. Yeah. (laughs) So I I still keep him at Toronto. He's on a different team, though. But he's he's still playing like Toronto Valanciunas. He's not doing... Extra for he's me to be good. like. No, he's good, man. I liked what I saw from him, but like, I think, bro, he could be better. Like, I don't know. Like, so the question is, if Valanciunas has a guard like uh, Anthony Davis or it, it, fucking, yeah, it, yeah, that won't work. You know, what I'm like, like yeah, bro, be, yeah. get boy, and like, and and boy, same, same for um, <laughs> for that other dude you were saying from Portland. Like, he's gonna have the same problem. Nurkic will be okay in a in a way. You think so? Nurkic, he, he can take Anthony Davis. Can hold his own. Uh, he can hold his own a little bit. Okay. Now, I do give him enough respect to say that Anthony Davis could take him, but Anthony Davis just won't be able to just take him every night. Like Nurkic will be like, "Bitch, you got me fucked up," and he'll <laughs> actually like. Okay, cool. So that's why I like. Well, Anthony Davis, like as good as he is, he is a little inconsistent. Like he does have off nights sometimes, or like he not recently shit. though. Not recently. But LeBron also does make him more of like the catalyst of yeah, the team. So, I agree. Um, so this is what I will say: um, Portland was the worst matchup that the Lakers would have wanted to see. But so you think they have the best chance to beat the Lakers? I think the port that Portland is the best chance to beat them. If Memphis makes the playoffs right now, or Spurs make the playoffs. No disrespect to Spurs because we stand San Antonio, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they, I mean, at the end of the day, I'm not stupid. Like sure. I give them love, yeah. but yeah, Lakers would have dusted what about anybody the Suns, else. Man? Like as hot as they were. Nope. Right? No. You don't think so? Dust, bro. I'm telling you. Okay. Um, Portland is probably the only team that could really maybe take this shit to like six. And even then, like we don't even. Even then, I, don't, I, don't, I personally don't feel like they about to do shit. Sure. The thing is. Mm-hmm. Dame Litter is really a fucking beast, bro. Like, no CJ McCullum, no Nurkic, no like Dame would just go out and drop 60, 70 points, bro. He he's not he won't win you a game though. Not by himself. But he has. We we, we saw him do it last year against Westbrook and he fucking weighed them niggas off. Like Dude. This is the problem. When you yeah. start talking shit to Dame, he like pull up and be like, Oh, we talking shit though. The the difference is LeBron ain't saying shit. Anthony Davis ain't shit, shit. Ain't nobody on the Lakers talk shit about him. Extra shit on it's the, the media that's saying shit about him. Mm-hmm. So now he's putting up the numbers like, bitch, oh, you got me fucked up. Let me show you something. Why does he need that, though? Why can't he just show I, up? I mean, I, it's, bro, this goes back to what we said. Some people need fans. Some people don't. So in the bubble, it works for some. It works for other. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. it's nutty, bro. It's nutty. Do you agree with Damian Lillard getting MVP of the bubble? Uh, No. What do, you th- what do you think should have got it? TJ Warren. I think so. T- like, I'm not, actually, I'm, I'm I didn't not think even about gonna... that until this very moment, but I think you're bro, right. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm not I'm not gonna fuck around. If if he will the Portland to like all of their dubs. Look, bro. If <laughs> so we get so it depends, right? This is why I always get mad when it comes to sports shit. Uh-huh. If we look at the overall, right, of what person had the biggest effect, it's TJ Warren. But you know what, you know what these people do? They get analytics. They get points per game, um, plus minus, and and all this shit. And then they make T.J. Warren maybe look like he's not shit for his team. But literally, he's won a bunch of games with Oladipo playing like a bitch. Yeah, Oladipo, Oladipo wasn't Oladipo even was not, Wakanda. He was like not relevant, dude. Which is weird. 
Think about Oladipo good as fuck and TJ Warren popping off like that. that That's a problem. That's a team, dude. I'm telling so, you, bro, yeah. I, I just have weird issues with people's eye test. Because the real eye test is... You look and you watch what the fuck a person is doing. Well, yeah, that's what an eye test is. Like you ignore the stats. Like no just, stats. Just, I, I no stats. Analyze the game. It's, uh, watch them. Yeah. T.J. Warren popping off why, like a bitch. That, the eye test is actually the reason why I have opinions about some players that like others might disagree with. But really, like, if just watch the game, like just watch him play. That's all it watch is. Watch his decision bro. making. Like you'll you'll understand why I feel the way that I do. That's all it is, bro. Um, that's all Mon- it is. Monty Williams got coach coach of the bubble. Eight no sons. I think that's non negotiable. The fact that he was uh, able to will his team to eight and zero, oh, I think, is nuts. Coach of the year in the bubble, right? In the bubble, yeah, in the bubble, yeah. Okay, it's fair. I, I give him that. It's fair. They, they went eight and zero. Oh. Um, and then we got first team and second team. First team being Dame Lillard, Devin Booker, Luka Doncic. James Harden and TJ Warren. Fair. What? No. No. That's not fair. That was the five? For the first team, yeah. Oh, my. What? Oh Are my you mad gosh, that, like, bro. LeBron's not in there or some shit? Anthony Davis should be in there, bro. What? He fucking scored 30, 40 on multiple teams. And- Anthony oh Davis. Oh, my gosh, bro. Hey, I- you want to hear, you wanna hear who, made <laughs> who made second team? You want to hear who made second team? Bro. Second team is Giannis, Kawhi. Porzingis, Levert, and Michael Porter Jr. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> so so half the names on the second team even, should be on the fucking first? Yeah, Anthony Davis oh is not even on there. Gosh, bro. Oh, my gosh, bro. <laughs> how do you feel about that? I don't know how to feel about it, honestly. I, I feel like I'm about to blow a loose gasket, oh, but maybe really? I'm going to sound crazy. But there's no way that the list of seconds... Or, like, there's not at least a couple that well, are Well, we're first. talking bubble. We're talking bubble. I don't give a fuck. Okay. I don't care, bro, because okay. that doesn't matter. Okay. That does not matter, bro. And I can explain that for sure in depth if you really want me to, but Do it. no, that's bullshit. Tell me why. Yeah, bro, so I, I can explain Anthony Davis' first team all day. So Anthony Davis technically should be def- defensive player of the fucking year. Um, LeBron likes to do this thing where Anthony Davis just scores 40 or 50 points and LeBron doesn't have to score shit. So the problem with that is when teams plan for them, they plan for LeBron to score a bunch and Anthony Davis to score a bunch. But if LeBron is more so leaning on Anthony Davis, Anthony Davis to score 40 or 50 and then LeBron only have a 20 don't mean shit. So at the end of the day, I, I don't. I I, I want to say that it's enough, and LeBron would just be like, "Look, I'll drop another thirty or forty with them, and then me and him can have ninety points total, and then we'll leave our team up to the rest." So you think he's like too big of an anchor on the team to not be considered first team? LeBron is for sure. So, so to me I follow LeBron for years. Right. LeBron is he's declining, bro. Like there's just no way around it. Like I'm not trying to be a douchebag or Well, you're a LeBron fan. I still think so he's the best though. If it's coming from you, he's I mean, still the best though. Legit. To me, he's uh-huh. still the best in the league. Now he's declining, but he's still the best. Do you like, contribute the Lakers success more so on Anthony Davis? Is that why you feel that way? Yeah. Because the thing is, if you actually watch the games, mm-hmm. like, Anthony pops off most of the game. And then LeBron will add. He's like a finisher. Heroic antics and shit. He's, now, like, LeBron is very similar. Like, like, Anthony Davis and LeBron now is very similar to how, like, James Harden and Russell Westbrook are now. In terms of, like, their impact on the game. Like, they're no, both, they're that's both not stars. Fair. That's not fair. Why do you say that? It's a little different in certain respects. So, Westbrook came from Durant, right? But Westbrook also went through Durant and still stayed and still just played with who whoever he had. I'm just talking about matter. right now. Uh, right now, yeah, I don't think it's a fair like assessment roles. to say that. No. 
I don't think Anthony it's the Davis first is hit. like the James Harden, and LeBron is like the Westbrook. The, the so this is the whole funny part about that is right. If if we're gonna talk about that, Westbrook is out right now. He's not yeah, playing. I was gonna tell you about that too. He's got he's got a right. quad strain, and he's so, missed at least game one. So which I think it's huge. We can't say that. No, no, no. I'm, honestly, I'm, I'm talking generally, not like this very second. Just in terms of like what their impact on the team is, like in terms of like dynamic. I don't think anybody has the same effect or dynamic on a team than LeBron does for anybody. You I sound, feel like LeBron could get traded and go to any you team. Sound like and, you might have LeBron's dick in your mouth, but uh, I mean, I'm, I'm hey, you know, it's big though. Hey, man, it's it's not it's little. Cool. I understand. You know, he's pushing ten plus inches, so I, I don't understand. give a fuck. I, if I, if I sound like I'm pushing hard, sometimes too. It's oh. because he's proved. That I should push hard for him. So I understand. I'm not, I'm not going to sit here and, and act like LeBron shouldn't be acknowledged right now, <laughs> even right now, bro. It's just. I will give you some credit. You are acknowledging that he is in decline. So He I is in decline, mm-hmm. but at the same time, you still this is, I will tell you this. LeBron in the playoffs mm-hmm. will still give us, and I'm going to call this right now, bro, so, yeah. I, that's so I don't sound weird. Today, Sunday 25 16. plus points, seven rebounds. I, Seven assists. How do you feel? If, One still. How are you going to feel like, if he doesn't deliver? But he will. I, I mean, we'll see. If he doesn't, then I mean, I'll, I'll just follow the same pattern of like, I followed D-Wade. I followed Shaquille O'Neal. I followed all these other dudes that didn't do what they were supposed to do when we thought they was going to do some shit on Mars Starter Mar. Like, there's multiple players, bro, that I can do this with. Uh-huh. The only thing is, since it's LeBron, though. His level of the same shit is different because we compare him to Jordan. So when he doesn't do some shit, it's looked at in a different light, which isn't fair. Okay. Like, let's just be real, bro. Jordan, to me, is the best score ever. Okay. Kobe is second. Sure. Overall basketball player, though, like from point A to point L. Like, if we do it that way, LeBron is the best basketball player overall, bro. Mm-hmm. Period. You think that way right now? Bro, I've, not I now. Don't. Like, yeah, right, it's right. been for years. Right. I'm only talking about right now. So, the problem that I have with the NBA is they equate the best player as the best score. That's not the same. That's really interesting that you say that. It's not last the week, same. We had an argument between who deserved the MVP. It's Giannis not the same. Or James Harden. And it's I not think the same. We would. I think you would agree with me in saying that Harden's just the best scorer. I don't think that you, that you really have an argument to me though, because when we say best player, yeah, Giannis. You, people bring up Harden, Kobe, Jordan. So if we're saying best score, well, you're you're talking history though. I'm not. I'm talking. talking history. <laughs> I'm talking overall, the best player in the league right now. We've ever no, no, no bro. No. Right not now, right. I don't care about history. Bro, like, so <laughs> this, but you should, and this is why my well, argument. We're talking about the playoffs. This is why my argument goes more. Uh huh. Because if you want to include playoffs, no, no, we no, can no, talk no. about this year's playoff stats. Uh, so no, 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 no. This bro, year's playoffs. That's all I'm talking about. <laughs> this is what I will tell you. Uh huh. There's not much that you can talk about. In those type of stats that you're talking about, LeBron's number one not over Jordan. Not this year, though. Over Kobe. I don't give a shit about that. So, not this year, but what year is it? Oh, 17 going to 18? Holy shit. Think about what year you're comparing to other people. James, like, J- LeBron James' history is not going to help him win a championship this bro, year. Bro, it's not about championships. This year it is. That's, this is playoffs. that's No, it's not. You know what this year is about? This year's an asterisk. Just like if we if we want to look into it, right? Dude, if LeBron wins, you're a Spurs you're fan, gonna right? Be, you're going to be you're, you're a Spurs guy, right? Yeah. Y'all have an asterisk on one of y'all's championships. Yeah, for the short year. Exactly. Yeah, I understand. But if we're going to say that, then be, let's be fair. If we're not going to say it, then let's not talk about it. So which one is it? Do you want to talk about that or do you not? Right now, it puts you in a tough position. No, not at all. I don't care. So it's fine. So champ- if that's the case, yeah. then when Spurs won a championship with that extra cure, that doesn't count. No, I'm not saying it doesn't count. I, I think we're on different pages here. We're not. I, 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 I think that you're trying to take me to a different page, but no, I'm telling you well, that we're on the same about, one. Like, the history of the game and like who's right. the best player. Like I don't mm-hmm. give a fuck about any of that. I'm right. just talking about what's going on right now. 
like this moment, year eighteen, LeBron. Right. Right. So what do you, what do you care about it? Well, what I'm like like. Because he's still playing the same way he played almost well, like right. we were five or six, you ten were years ago. That you think he's the best right now. But he's still doing it in a longer stretch. Well, and you still, just no, told that me. That doesn't mean anything, though. So, well, well, you just told me that no, no, it no, no. did. I'm talking this year. Okay, you're talking about year specifically, yes, right? Yes. So LeBron is playing in this year right. better than any other this year type of Karl Malone, Michael Jordan, I'm, anybody okay. you want to pick I see has your played. Angle. Yeah, I see your angle. I'm so, talking in relation to other players in the league this year, not other players who have played in year 18 like LeBron in the okay. past. Right, so you're talking about people that have only been there their seventh year or their eighth year, anyone, right? Anyone Okay. in the league right now. Exactly, mm-hmm. and this is what's crazy. If you watch LeBron, he's still competing with yeah, dudes. For sure. Like Giannis. He's not the best, though. Who's only been here for like seven. He's not the best, though. Who's the best? Giannis. Explain why. Well, a lot of people are better than LeBron right now. No, they're not. I'm not, not. saying he's a bum. No, he's they're not. not. a bum, bro. And see, this is why I dude, need you to. you've even said this. He explain gets, to me. He gets gassed as fuck, dude. So he expl- has to rest. But somewhere. why? Because he's old as fuck. So explain to me why these dudes that you just said, Giannis, if you can give me more, I'm cool with that. But explain to me James why Harden. those dudes are better. And I can explain to you why they're not, and it looks silly. Well, yeah, Giannis, James Harden, like Who else? I mean, I would, Luka Doncic, like okay. So those are legitimate Trey, candidates. Trey Young, those are le- Trey. No, Devin Booker. I, I give you that. You see so, what I'm saying? Like, they, so what's the point, difference you know, though? The, the impact that LeBron. What's has, the difference? Well, the impact that LeBron. Well, you're talking. I know you're trying to. You're, you're trying to make me say age. Obviously, longevity. Yeah. That's the only reason why we're having this conversation. If yeah, yeah. LeBron no, couldn't, obviously, but I mean, that's it, it. It's the same way that everyone can agree that Tom Brady's not the best quarterback in the NFL. We all fucking know that. But it's longevity. It doesn't so, matter. Longevity bro, doesn't mean shit. It does mean no, shit. Does. So let me tell you this: experience this is, is important, what, but like, if you're old, you're old. If like, Tom Brady come out next year and have Tampa Bay the best fucking fucking team in the league, mm-hmm. then longevity makes sense for what the fuck I'm talking about. I disagree. You disagree only yeah. because you don't think that Tom will, will be the best team. No, I think Tampa has a really good chance of being the best team. They have one of the most stacked rosters. So the then NFL. why would you think that Tom Brady still wouldn't be the best quarterback if he makes Tampa Bay the best team? Because he's got a lot of people around him. Dude, Tom Brady, Bro. Like, he's not going to be better than then almost who? anyone that makes the playoffs. Then who? Aaron Rodgers. He has a team, right? Yeah, well, I mean, not like not like Tom Brady. Right. Who who else has a team like Tom Brady right now? No, There's a do not Patrick, say they're not Patrick, other people. Patty Mahomes. That's one of the. I mean, the Ravens don't. Cleveland. The Ravens don't. The Ravens, Cleveland don't. No, the Ravens don't have a team like Tampa. What? Dude, compare the rosters. It's not. It's not even. A, it's not. Okay, go 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 player by player for me. <laughs> no, no, you're in the you're in the football. Yeah. So you at least know who on the Raven. Uh-huh. On the Ravens, uh-huh. it's not just as cold as Tampa. In positions. Oh, I mean that's that's not very hard at all. I'll pull I know it's not. Yeah, like I'll pull it up right now. So, uh, so bro, if Brady takes Tampa Bay right now to a Super Bowl and loses or wins, I, it doesn't matter to me because Brady took as old as he is. He still took a team. That means Brady's fucking good. Well, yeah, obviously. Yeah, but like LeBron's done a year after year, bro. So so what are we talking talking about? about This year though is what I'm saying. This is one year. LeBron just took eight teams, bro. No matter what they were built of. What year did those eight teams play? Bro, he took did any eight eight teams. Did any of those eight teams play this year? No. So see this is this is where it's irrelevant. I don't Understand how you how that just gets dusted under the rug. Well, no, it doesn't. No, his, like his legacy. Well, then it, it does. It's, it's important to his legacy, but I'm talking about him Bro. playing basketball right now. So okay, right. So if he goes back to the finals this year, what are people gonna say? Well, then that's oh, great. he had Anthony Davis. Yeah. Oh, he had Danny Green. Yeah. Oh, he had this. Well, oh, he no, had that. But I, I don't think they'll say anyone else. I think the, I think they'll say he had Anthony Davis, Bro. and that's it. But but the years that he didn't do shit. Like you just said, mm-hmm. it doesn't matter about those years because yeah, la, la, whatever. No, 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 no. I know. I'm not saying that at all. No, the years that he played great bro. and he like won championships and stuff, like those are all relevant. Like, like he willed those teams to championships. 
Okay. And, and he went to those finals. Like I'm not I'm so, not discounting that at all. What you're saying is Tom Brady, if he went, he wouldn't be willing a team. He has a team. That's what yes, you're saying. That's yes, exactly. Okay. Yes. How many teams are better than Tampa Bay right now? A handful. I mean, we don't even really know yet because we haven't seen them hit the field. Based but... on the rosters, bro, and based on Tom Brady being old, like you just said. Are you talking what are you asking? Are you talking so, are you talking talent? Are you talking like projected win loss. I'm saying like, be realistic. I'm telling you to just be realistic. I'm, I'm not talking about talent this time. I'm talking about the player end point that we're talking about. So, like, how do you, I think they're going to perform? Yeah. I think they'll make the playoffs. I think they'll be a wild card. Mm-hmm. Would they lose? In the playoffs? Yeah. Right. Right. Probably. I think they, I don't what, think they win the What Super game Bowl. do they lose, though? The first one? No. Nah. Well, no. it depends because this year is weird because the second seed doesn't get a buy this year. So, right, like right. Tampa, they change it only yeah, the first so, gets. So right now, right. I have Tampa being the seven seed, which means that they play the two seed. You also told me though that could be a couple Kansas episodes City. ago no, they no, no, wouldn't no. implement that this year though. No, no, that's that's happening this year. The okay, seven, so then yeah, the so then we're good. The seventeen games is not happening this year. Right, but yeah. they they do implement the extra wild yes. cards and mm-hmm. shit. Yeah. Right. So so I have them I, I like right now in, in my projections, I have them playing the two seed in the first round. And that could be the Saints, that could be the Packers, that could be the 49ers. Like it could be any of those three teams. Right. And and so who and would you I bank just, on? Because based well, on what you well, said you gotta before think, dude, you gotta think they're they're gonna be going somewhere else. So bro. so like if they get lucky, like if they have to play Green Bay or someone like that where they gotta go somewhere cold it it won't it it likely they'll lose, um, but like if they go to the 49ers or something they'll have a chance because it's warm weather. But dude, the 49ers are like they're they're my projected winners of the NFC. I think they're going to the Super Bowl. So like, but I mean even if they go to the Saints, even in a dome, see. like the Saints are hot, man. Like well, this is the thing, man. It's hard for me to have an opinion about Tampa right now. The Saints are hot in what way? Stakes are high. The Saints yeah are hot in what way? Just in what they've already shown that they can do on the field. Right. A blown call. What else? That's it. Well, I That's mean, it. they've made the playoffs. Drew has come up short. Yeah. Multiple yeah, yeah. times no, for us to see. Right. Absolutely. It's one missed call. Yeah. So, but why Drew are we Brees, so high on the Saints Well, thing? Drew Brees is in a very similar situation. Bro. He's just, he's got a lot of talent around him as well. I think Drew Brees and Tom Brady are both in very similar cases. I think Tom Brady's over Drew Brees right now, though. But I think the big difference there is that Shady McCoy is not Alvin Kamara. I think that's the catalyst. But Kamara could be a he. Kamara's a that. beast, bro. And, and, and we've and, already and, seen moments of Kamara do that already. So I, I'm I don't want to get into that either because I actually feel like at a point in time McCoy was a bitch. But I'm also Eagles fan, and I've had McCoy for McCoy, years. McCoy, I don't think McCoy. Does I know what's sh- up. I, I'm going to be honest. Like it's cool that he's on the team, but I don't think he's going to be that relevant this year. He's only there. He wasn't to draw attention City. away. Yeah. From the passing. Yeah. Everybody knows that. Yeah. But everybody also knows no McCoy going to pop off like that because if he really was, he can't run like that. Then anymore. why the fuck is he not on the Bills still? Yeah, he can't run like that anymore. Because the Bills he didn't showed even, us he didn't even last long enough look, in the few games he played in Kansas look, City. Look, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm, I don't know, bro. I like your perspective on all this shit. I have to see it in person, though. Well, that's kind of what I'm getting it. at. We we are talking a bit I of hypotheticals, but we're, we're, we're doing with the hard NFL. hypotheticals, right especially now. with the NFL. For um, sure. hmm. who? Let's talk first round predictions. Let's do our first round for the for the first round. Let's do our predictions for the first round um, of the NBA playoffs. I think we both agree that the Lakers are gonna. Fucking spank the Blazers. I feel like the Blazers could take a six. But the Lakers win. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Who do you think will win Clippers Mavs? I think that's I mean I'll I'll say six. Clippers, Clippers. six. Yeah. That's exactly what I had to say. Like yeah. these games are gonna be no fucking The Mavs could upset though. Like Yeah, they could good. bro. This is what I was telling you. Like the past couple of weeks, thought, bro, it's like COVID now. So, bro, we're just, we're just, we don't. We're just making picks. All these shits are. Yeah, we're just making honestly, picks. honestly. Okay, let me be real. Then, if sure. we're gonna make real picks based yeah, on yeah, the bubble and picks. the COVID and shit, mm-hmm. 
I think the Clippers win. Mavs in seven. Oh, oh, oh. Mavs in seven. Do you know so, how I love to see that? That would I, be so I, sick. I, I, I'm just going off of bubble. this bubble, bubble. dude. Mm-hmm. If we're in real life. That's the thing. Everything else like doesn't matter. It's the bubble, man. Clippers smash them in five. Sure. But in this bubble with. I had the Clippers in six. But like I said, I could see the Mavs up. Seven. Mavs in seven, bro. Cool. Mavs okay. in seven. Okay. Yeah. Uh, what about the Nugs Jazz? Especially Nugs now that Mike Conley's out, Nugs maybe yeah. six. Nugs in five or six, I think so yeah. too. Yeah, That's, the Jazz are good. They're really good. They but, are, bro. But I don't know. The Nugs have been a little inconsistent <laughs> though, so we'll see. But I think they. Will. I mean, they're, they're so both of those teams are inconsistent. All I of feel those like games are going to be extremely competitive, though. I think. Um, they're both very similar. Like I just feel like Nuggets have more. Yeah. Like the thing is, most of the Nuggets shit we've seen in the bubble. They didn't have Murray, or they didn't have like all these players. Yeah, what was up with that? I feel like He's it was a tactic. <laughs> you think so? They can't scout. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Who do you think will win, Rockets and Thunder? Uh, the series. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's I don't know. The that's that's Are the only relevant? series that like, I, that I'm Paul, on, that, that I'm like unaware about. Up and he's um, out there so, like balling, bro. <laughs> Oklahoma has proved to be the one team that should have been ass, and, and they're they not. Didn't. Yeah, they like, and they've they actually, just keep showing up. They're it's almost weird. like uh, Phoenix. They've actually been beating. I agree. R- really good teams, and not look like they're struggling beating those good teams. Yeah, yeah so. like they're they're chilling. Yeah, yeah, they're chilling. I don't, and they have their people. Yeah, that's what I've what we talked about. And if you and have they got everything they got for Chris Paul, all of your game. roster, all of your people. It is bigger than like the Lakers or these other teams that you think are still powerhouses. Uh-huh. But a lot of the people that play the fact in those powerhouses are not there. Lakers are one of those teams. Whether I, I, I can talk about LeBron all day. LeBron should just beat everybody because he's better than Jordan. Uh but at the end yeah, of the day, like stupid. let's be fucking real. Yeah. You need teammates, you need a team. Yes. What was built for the Lakers? Is not there anymore, bro. So, if the Lakers don't win, will I be mad? Yeah, because LeBron is the GOAT, I think. So, he should be winning all these games right now. He should win the championship, all that. If they don't, then they don't. And and then I just got to be realistic about what happened. Mm-hmm. I don't want to sound fucking biased, though, you are for biased. saying what happened. Mm-hmm. But I'm not biased. Lakers don't have the team that they had going to... Into that's the true. bubble, yeah, like that's true, yeah. That's just what it is. Like yeah. there are other teams that are in the bubble right now that didn't have the same team. Some mm-hmm. people have their full squad. Like we talked about this. Yeah, we can't say anything if a team has their full squad and another team doesn't. Like the excuses are out the window. It's a bubble. Yeah, you go there to win a championship. So whoever's there is putting their life into winning this. So. We can't say, well, they had this dude, he was a really good defender. Or they had this dude, he shot threes really well. Or he, That doesn't matter. Because if those dudes mm-hmm. were really that important, wouldn't they be in the fucking bubble right now? Yeah, I feel that. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. it, 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 it's going to end up becoming an asterisk, right? If LeBron wins this title, it's going to be an asterisk. I don't. I don't acknowledge the asterisk. Like I acknowledge that things are you weird, but I think whoever wins wins. Like Look, it's it's a championship. Like everybody says, if Kawhi won the championship right now, he'd be the first player to win with three different teams. Yep. And not he doesn't have Anthony Davis though. LeBron. He doesn't have Anthony Davis. Bro, there's nobody that plays for the Clippers that's Anthony Davis. I'm. I'm. I'm like. I know you don't want to hear that, but. I'm going to crush you right now okay. if that's really your take that's on this. That's how I feel. Yeah? Yeah. Anthony what about Davis? Paul George? What about Paul George? What about Manchester Harrell? They're not. What about Lou Williams? They're not Anthony what? Davis. So this is the, this is the discussion we're going to have. LeBron has scored 20, right? 20, 25. Sure. Anthony Davis would score 25, 30. Uh-huh. Kawhi would score how much? Probably around the same. 25, 30? Yeah. How much is Paul George going to score? 25, 30? Like, yeah, yeah, around How there. much is Montrez Harrell going to score? Probably close. Like, how, at least 20, yeah. How, how much is Lou Williams going to score? Bro. It depends. 25, 30, yeah, bro. Maybe. You almost start getting to a conversation where you're looking at four or five dudes that score how Anthony Davis and LeBron score on one fucking team. 
So you're almost talking about if you have four players on your fucking team, bro, that score twenty points. How many points is that? That's eighty, right? Right. Let's imagine Paul George or Kawhi pops off for thirty or forty. Then what do you start pushing yourself up to? Like a hundred, a mm-hmm. hundred ten. Yeah. That's not no bitch players. We're only talking about four fucking players. Mm-hmm. They can all pop off and do that. Yeah. So how is it a comparison with Anthony Davis who maybe at most go 60, Are you maybe saying that 55. the Lakers bench is ass? I am definitely saying the Lakers bench is nowhere near the Clippers bench. Definitely now that we had starters mm-hmm. that started for us in the season and now that the bubble has started, uh-huh. they didn't even show up to the bubble camp. Clippers got that whole squad. Everybody showed up. They already had like eight or nine people. Yeah. On top of that, the Lakers only had like three or four. Yeah, but like. Certain niggas didn't show up. I think it's different. I don't know. In like, what like, way, bro? I don't you know. You got to be real with it. It just. LeBron like gutted the whole team. Like he made it How? his thing. How? He made them trade away like their entire court. That's what Anthony everybody Davis. says, bro. Everybody says LeBron guts every team. Do you really think LeBron has that much power to I just do. gut every fucking team? Yeah. But he'll gut them to where he doesn't get people back to perform. Like he'll just he'll just make the shittiest decisions every year and not have nobody. I'm not saying they're shitty decisions. Bro, I'm just think that, about like, mm-hmm. so think about it, right? Mm-hmm. Since Cleveland days, before he even went to Miami, whatever. LeBron's always had these decisions to bring people in to get better, right? Why hasn't he ever gotten better then if he has a decision to bring in somebody to get better? I don't think anyone wanted to play in Cleveland. You so are, I think like so, when he won his ship. Are you pretty much just team? saying nobody wants to play with LeBron? N- no. No, I'm not saying that at all. I mean, Anthony Davis is there. <laughs> well, with the Lakers, though. That's not with Cleveland, though. Well, I mean, people wanted to play with Miami, too. Right. And then people wanted to play with him the second time he was in Cleveland. So is it the team or is it the motive of how you do shit? Like, like what's more important to people nowadays? I can't answer that. I'm not sure. So how many players on the Lakers team do you have right now that can go hard? 20 plus. 20 plus. Like three or four. Maybe. Right. How many on the Clippers do you have can yeah, go 20 plus? Like four or five at least. It's more though, right? It could be, yeah. So then at the end of the day, that would, that would mean LeBron or Anthony Davis got to make up the slack, right? How does that have anything to do with the legacy of Kawhi or LeBron, though? Like, so I don't, I don't understand that. This is what it has to do with. If LeBron doesn't win another championship, mm-hmm. he'll never be the greatest. He'll never be the GOAT. Who's saying that? Dumb people. Dumb people are saying that. Well, I mean... And, and I told you this mm, from the very beginning. The whole GOAT conversation is fucking mm, stupid. Who cares? Who, so who's your GOAT? I don't have one. Okay, so look, I'll put it this way. I don't have one. I'll put it this way. Since you're so. I don't have the, a goat in the NFL. The, yeah, you do. Not really. If you have to pick somebody in the NFL right now, who do you pick? The goat. Overall, over everybody, no matter stats, teams, nothing. Who do you pick? Your answer is about to make my point, bro. This is why I'm asking you this. For a long time. Yeah. It mm-hmm. was Aaron Rodgers. Aaron Rodgers for a long time is the fucking goat. But that even that's relevant. Even that's relevant. And I've come to respect Tom Brady over time because of his ships. But when we're talking greatness, it like between the NFL and the NBA, like it's it's not comparable. So this is the thing, it is comparable. It's not like you're just gonna make my point. It's not. What you're about to do right now is prove why people say LeBron is better than Jordan. That's what you're about to do right now by what you're about to say. I swear to God. You do you don't think that you're gonna do that? Okay. But do it. Okay. I know you probably don't want to do it now, but know. I'm telling you what you're gonna do. Go so, ahead. So explain you... why Aaron is better than Brady. Well, it, it depends on how you look at it. Like Aaron Rodgers has the leading interception to touchdown ratio ever. And He's also proven that he's arguably the most accurate quarterback in the NFL. And what I'm about to say, you think I'm going to make your point. It's not making your point. 
You, not you've been making this, my point this not, whole time. Not in this conversation. You're still making my no, point I, this I whole know, time. I know what you think. I hope I don't crush you. That's okay. Like, by what you say that, next. That's okay. I hope it does not make my point. <laughs> Aaron Rodgers has not gotten the support that he's needed the way that Tom Brady has. Mm-hmm. The Patriots have been willing to sign anybody in order to get those dubs. Mm-hmm. Tom Brady's had top 10 defenses all of the years that he's won Super Bowls. Aaron has never had good teams. Aaron won a Super Bowl, and that year they had a top 10 defense. Thank you so much for that. Keep going. You're, you're, this you're, is, you're still borderline with this me. This is what I'm Go getting ahead. at. Yeah, it's I'm with different you. in the NBA because one player can change the entire game. The NFL is not like that. Yes, the fuck it is. It's a 53 man roster. One player can change everything. It's more complicated than that. The no, only it's not. player that could arguably make an impact that big is a quarterback. Right, which is that, Aaron Rodgers. No, here's the, could. Yeah, which is Aaron Rodgers. Aaron Rodgers, Tom Brady, okay. Drew Brees, Peyton Manning. Those are very, like, some, like, very few examples. So right? it just sucks for you. The one example that I want to use, you have a quarterback that can do that. So the, I don't know what you're saying right now. Well, like, what I'm getting at, like, you want me to say that I think Aaron Rodgers is better even though he doesn't have the rings. That's what no. you want me to say. No, 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 no. That's not what I want you to say. What? So. It's not about rings, is what I want you to say. I know. And I want I you to... That's, that's exactly what I'm getting at. But it's the NFL's different. No, it's, it's different. not different, yes, it bro. Is. Every sport is every sport. No, it's not. So, you know Messi, right? Even, dude... You even, know Messi from soccer? Yes, I know Messi. Does he have a whole bunch of rings and shit? Y- yeah. He does? <laughs> he has a lot of Like, a shitload. He has more than anybody that's ever won him, right. right? Yeah. Yeah? Uh-huh. I mean, I think so. I, I mean, right. So, <laughs> I mean, we're I just talking... So, yeah, what about Ronaldo? Huh? What about Ronaldo? Hasn't he won a bunch too? Or only a couple? So this is what I'm saying, bro. I don't know shit about Look, soccer. <laughs> when it comes to talent. Dude, here's the big thing, man. That's why we need to have these conversations. The it's not about team success. The reason, the biggest reason why it's different from NFL to NBA is because in the NBA, you have 53-man rosters and single elimination playoffs. That's the biggest difference. Because you can get upset by anybody one yeah. time. So, so we can say 53 peep, like slots, yeah. right? How many people contend in those 53 fucking slots? Contend, what do you mean? Contend. So, like for I'm going to take your job. How many positions would you say out of 53? Every single one of them. No. Dude, Fuck in training camp, no. they start with Fuck 90 players. No. Yes. No. Yes, they do. No. <laughs> yes. Bro, so you're telling me mm-hmm. these football teams mm-hmm. go – into the next season with rookies and all kind of shit, and they feel that there are more than twenty individuals that could be their replacements. Yeah. No. Absolutely, the fuck not. I don't think you know shit about the NFL offseason. I <laughs> don't think you do. So if that's the case, with all due respect, I'm not so trying to talk shit. You say I don't, right? Yeah, I'm gonna keep it real. Yeah. I want you to name me multiple fucking teams that have fucking just brought on some fucking rookie that fucking them. took over. All of you them. can't. All of them. What do you mean? All, all of them. All of them. Debo Samuel last year. Um, what's it called? El- You're only gonna be able to name year. me like five teams tops, bro. <laughs> Dude, they're everywhere. You only be able to name me five team stops. I mean, if I did some research, I could tell you a lot of people. Right, but you'd have to do research. If you go off of what I just said, there's not that many teams, bro. Dude. Just like in the NBA, when they draft all these players, well, they, right? They even only have two rounds in the NBA. That's bro. another example. The NFL has, not only does the NFL have, what is it, seven rounds, they also have a supplemental draft, too. So right? how nutty does that sound to draft so many fucking dudes that you know are not going to fucking play and you're spending money on shit that you don't have to spend it on? You never and now know. that Corona's a thing, you never know. you're going to see what the fuck I'm talking about. And it's going to make NFL a way well, bigger we're, fucking we're thing, gonna, bro. We're going to talk about that, too, because that, that kind of goes hand in hand with like our hard bro. knocks talk we're going to do. We'll talk about that in a minute. But I, I see where you're going with it. I can and this tell you right going now. It's going to be different. For sure. It's it, already different. So it's already different. It will only be different because hella players don't want to go play. Hella officials don't want to go play. There's so many people that are going to opt out. Now, what you're saying makes sense because so many randoms that we would never know are going to play. Uh, no, other way around. Uh, bro, there no! Are, there are going to be almost it's, no new players playing this year. I, I, I don't I don't think that it's gonna be that way. 
I disagree. I think we're going to see a whole bunch of names that we don't know. I don't. And people are going to. I don't. <laughs> All right, bro. I think. I mean, you you seen the opt out list? You seen the officials? You yeah, seen players? You, you seen all this shit? The officials. You know. The officials got me fucked up. And we'll you talk about know, that. bro. There's gonna be a wild list of some fucking people that we're gonna be seeing no. in the NFL no. that we've never seen before. No. You don't think so? I know. I know so. It's not gonna happen. Why? Because due to training camp restrictions, players have already had to cut their rosters down. Right. They, they were already had to start right. a smaller number. They couldn't bring in 90 players. They had to start at 80. And they had to cut those players down even further to have their base roster. That's what I'm saying. Training space. What my point is that unknown guys don't get the opportunity to show that they're capable of making a roster. So even if you have a guy that may be more talented, he hasn't gotten a field time to show that he can beat out somebody else you already have tape on. And on top of that, there's no playoff games this year. All of these unknown guys have zero opportunities to show that they can do anything other than in camp, but camp is cut short for these right. guys because they already have limited right. availability in camp. Can I tell you something? You tell me, yeah. <laughs> You're a Green Bay fan. Yeah. Right? Yeah. I'm an Eagles fan. Okay. You know how many wide receivers we had on the outside, nigga, that were fucking third or fourth string? Well, y'all, y'all, oh, no, no, no. Hurt. You know how many wide receivers we had on the outside or hurt players on the line, uh-huh. on the offensive line, or in the fucking. <sighs> the Dude, secondary. Your, 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 whole, your whole team got hurt. Dude. They were all hurt. That's, I that's don't that's want to hear about... Bro, look. That's injuries. That's not what we're talking about. That is... This is exactly why we're talking about it because it's Corona and COVID and people have opted out. Yeah, so it's pretty dude, much the same handful, shit. A small handful of people have opted out. Bro, look. The okay. only team we could say that we'll see okay. a legitimate impact on from the opt-outs is the Patriots. On your Packers, how many people opted out? One. one. Yeah, one person. What did he do? What do you mean? What did he do? What, what did he do? Position? What was his position? He yeah, was a wide receiver. Wide receiver. But he was a new, he was a new acquisition. So like one of our same dudes okay. is going to fill a spot. Do you think you're going to go fucking fourteen and three or fucking fourteen and two next year? I don't feel confident. However, why not? Our roster is the same. Why not? Right. Why not? Well, yeah. So that's why I don't know. We'll that's see. why I'm saying this shit is. I'm telling you, bro. It's going to be. Like a mind fuck. This shit's gonna fuck some shit up. I I already told you, bro. I, I have Green Bay very high on my I list. Know you do. I don't know why I do. Cause I fucking <laughs> well, hate here's y'all. The thing, here's the thing. I had I look. Okay, I'm, I'm, I will talk about this now. <laughs> I wanted to talk to you about this. Have you yeah. seen, Have you seen the new Packers running back AJ Dillon? I saw him. I looked it up. I looked them Saquon up. Saquon has a new opponent. AJ Dillon has got some of the biggest eyes of any grown man I I've gotta see. ever seen. I just gotta see AJ Dillon pop off. Cause well, the only dude, the only dude, thing I heard was Saquon. Kinda, dude, dude, I had no faith. Bro. Right? They're saying they look, dude. When they drafted AJ, like in the draft, they were saying that he could potentially be the next Derrick Henry, and I was like. That sounds bananas. Like, anytime I hear a comparison like that, I'm like, mm, like, let's pump the brakes a little bit. Like, let's go ahead and see him on the field a little bit first. Let's see what's going on, right? Right. You got to be real with look it, bro. Look at this picture of AJ Dillon, bro. Look at this. Look. That dude is fucking bro. thick as shit. Like, goddamn. Dillon Dill looks fine. Dude, dude he looks good right there. But can I huge. tell you something? And, and here's the thing. Bro. Here's the thing. I had no, I, I had no excitement, right? Bro. Dude, Bro. everyone in the Packers organization is talking about AJ Dillon like he's Bro. their best kept secret. Like, so they're talking about him like he's this gonna is take what I'm junk, saying, job, bro. bro, and like pop the fuck off. Look, if you talk about a Saquon, uh-huh. if you talk about a Christian McCaffrey, uh-huh. like with that video, that that little picture you just showed me, show me the same pictures for those kind of dudes that we're talking about that should be leading rushers, like. They look just like that. Not like AJ Dillon. This is the difference. He's thick as They've thick. done it already in the league. You mean like Mark Ingram and stuff like that? Like, Bro. Like Frank Gore? <laughs> He 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 got to work and do some oh, shit no, for no, me, bro. For sure. Like, no, no, no. I'm just talking about from the from from the 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 belt down physique. I can't for like some of the like biggest quads oh. and legs in the NFL. So like, he's got Saquon he, like. He's beefy, bro. No, that's, that's all I'm getting at. I'm not he's talking about him being beefy. like the next big thing, but I'm just saying Green Bay's got. Saquon about was beefy. And what happened to his ass? Sit your ass down. Your ankle got hit too hard. Uh, okay, oh, well, you it was done? A high ankle sprain, but yeah, yeah. I mean, come on now, right? 
So, uh, I'm not. Here's the thing. I'm by no means whatsoever but, trying to say that AJ Dillon might live up to Saquon Barkley's output. That's not what I'm saying. So what I'm saying is I love your NFL expectations. Because they're more than mine, but you follow the NFL more than I do. Yeah, yeah, just yeah. like I follow the NBA more than you do. I just like so, I, I heard about AJ Dillon. I watched a little bit of tape. I it didn't blow me away. As I like much, your takes, but holy shit! But dude. you know I have my NFL takes. Yeah, yeah. And I have some gnarly fucking takes yeah. that people wouldn't believe. Yeah, for sure. But I'm calling them right now. Uh huh. Because I I don't think they'll happen. I don't think. Uh, we'll see. <sighs> we'll see. Well, I mean, he's not even number one on the depth chart right Who now. Who we play for? Huh. Who he play for? Green Bay. But they got Aaron Jones. And even so what the fuck are we talking about? Dude, this is what I've told you, man. Like, like you're talking Bro. about guys like don't play for their positions. Bro. Unless your name is like Aaron Rodgers or Tom Brady, or unless you're getting paid nine fucking figures. This is, you're this is why I have a problem with the season. NFL. So Dude, they'll sub you out like that, bro. They that's what I'm fuck. saying. And what you just said makes me feel like I can relate to Le'Veon Bell now. Like, if oh, you're no, good, no, no, bro, you're, you're absolutely and right. if you're fire, yep. what you just said, mm-hmm. you ain't shit. Even when you just gave us a whole fire-ass season, it's all about money, if man. we think the next year you ain't going to be shit, it don't matter what you do, we're just going to say you ain't shit. You, you'll still get paid, though. You just won't get but, paid. Bro, god damn, bro. That shit is fucking tough. Well, I mean, it's the same reason why Pat McAfee left the NFL. Like, the business is a business, bro. Or is it the same reason that the Packers got a quarterback now? A new one. And not Aaron Rodgers. No, you're absolutely right. That's exactly right. what it is. But that's bullshit. <laughs> oh, my gosh. It, it's rough. Bro. <laughs> yeah, it's rough, man. Dude, I've been living with this my whole oh life, my man. God, it's rough, bro. man. That's <laughs> why, I, like, I love the NFL as best as I can. But it's, it's just so unrealistic. I just... I can't play around. The NBA, they just started doing fucking gnarly shit, bro, like two years ago. Where people are, like, leaving and making super well, it's teams. it's what and, I've told you before, dude. Bro, like, the, the it's rosters just, are it's so not the big, same, dog. And, it's and not the, the same. the NFL has less money to play with than NBA teams. No. So, it's just like, so, like you got to work your magic, man. I get that you're, gotta, you get that you're saying what yeah. you're saying. Uh-huh. But there's no way that Jalen Ramsey should have went to the fucking Rams. Like, when he, like... The team he was on should have already known he was fire. And they could have no, kept they, him. They did know. But, but he was a cancer to the locker room. But they said he was trash. He wasn't shit. They, they didn't, didn't like that. his fucking no, whatever. They didn't, say, they didn't, they didn't, didn't like. Up. So they gave him up. That's what I'm talking they about. They gave him up because that, he refused to start. That kind of shit does not happen in NBA, bro. Bullshit. Like, it's, Bullshit. it's different. Bullshit. With who? With who? Anybody. With who? The fucking With who? KD, bro. What about him? Well, like... like they they go to better teams. They go to teams that they want to play for that they think can win championships. In the NBA, Anthony fucking Davis bro, to the, the fucking Lakers. In the NBA, like Kyrie going to the Nets with KD, DeAndre Jordan going to the Nets with Kyrie and KD. But again, you're 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 going off of a couple of instances that relate. What about to make my point? What about literally the entire NFL rest of the is roster? different than that. Yeah, but that's what way I'm saying. Way different. Time. It's yes. not even close, bro. Like it's not even close. Um, I I can tell you right now, I don't think Ramsey even like playing in general for LA for the Rams. Yeah, I'm I'm dead ass. I think, <laughs> I don't think that was his best it. opportunity oh, yeah. that could get him the most money. Yeah, yeah. So sure. he just fucked with it. Yeah. Him personally though, mm-hmm. he, he ain't fucking with it, no. bro. I. Jared Goff sucks. S- so look, we're gonna get into this later, right? Yeah. You watch Hard Knocks. Yeah. They asked him a question about his contract. Uh, we'll talk about that. Most fucking people are serious about the contract. No. What did he say? Nope. Oh no, that's a bullshit fucking you a, lie. You got a bad. Team. You say no. Yeah. All he said was, "I don't really care what they do, bro. I'm just here to play ball, bro. Like whatever my agent figures out for me, I'm good with." That's the. So that's the correct answer. Him saying uh, that. Yes. What if that fucking contract was shittier than what the fuck you was with before you left? It won't be. But how do you know that? Because they because are. you're more in the mix. So don't say what my agent does. Like no. they ask you that question for no, a no, reason. No, 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 you no. know what your fucking no, contract's no. gonna be. I know everyone asking them that question already knows the answer. They just want to take. No, all they want is you to be truthful. No. You, no, Heston, no. That is me asking you right the fuck now. Mm-hmm. Is there shit that bothers you? But the shit that bothers you, you're telling me that it fucking doesn't. You want to know? You want to know what that is? Do you want to know what that is? You want to know what that answer is? Yeah, what is it, okay, bro? So right now, bullshit. The Rams, <laughs> bullshit. It's fucking the, bullshit. The Rams 
and Jalen Ramsey's agents are currently in talks to give him an extension. Jalen Ramsey is not concerned for a single moment about getting an extension because the Rams already gave up two first round picks for him. He's getting an extension. It's guaranteed. Right. They, but they, they literally can't. That doesn't give, mean it's guaranteed or what you think you're going to make. He'll, he'll get That's whatever. That's the problem. No, no, they've already played their cards. They can't, like, because Ramsey will just sit out again. He'll just sit out. Exactly. Do you see what I'm saying? That's what I'm and, telling and you. Thing, thing, so right? what if the they don't give him his shit and then he just says, you know what? I'm not going to fucking then play that. And they'll pay him. They'll pay him what? He'll sit out and they'll pay him whatever they want. Jalen's in, he's in the driver's seat. They already gave up two first-round so picks. So that's what I'm saying. Unless, How, unless their owner has balls or their GM man, has balls look. and he just cuts him. But he you, won't. You already know he won't. No, he won't. No, Y'all no. just got that huge-ass fucking deal. That's why just because they got rid of Gurley that's why, don't mean shit. Yep, that's why Jalen, Jalen ain't team. about to get... Nothing, bro. He He's about to be on some dumbass. I don't think so. Fucking contract. I don't think so. And that's why he didn't say shit. I don't think so, bro. I don't think so. He ain't no Joey Bosa. Jalen Ramsey's one of the best cornerbacks in the NFL. He is. Yeah. He ain't no Joey Bosa though. He Perfect. won't get. He won't get no Joey Bosa contract. No, of course not. They don't right. get paid. This but it's more. defense. But it's defense. So don't say that. This is what I'm saying. When when so that's, that's dumb. Th- so that's this is where when you bring up NBA uh-huh. and I try to break down to you. Yeah. NFL, uh-huh. don't bring it up because in the NBA, you're just gonna get similar contracts. On your end, you say, Well, that dude is on the line, that dude is a safety. Yeah, it's all so different. it's different. It's all different. it's not like that in the NBA. Yeah, I know. So you can't, like, there's no way no, to compare I, it. I understand but that. Yeah, you, I mean, so that's why that's why Kenny Clark getting paid 70 million dollars and being the highest paid defensive interior lineman in history, I'm gonna be honest, is different than Joey Bosa getting 150 million dollars. Jalen fucked himself. I'm going to be so. honest right now. I don't think so. Jalen will not get the money that he should be making, and he'll have to do some fucking uh, old boy from uh, Seattle that moved. What's my boy? Herman. Sherman. He oh, do yeah. like some Sherman shit. He's going to get underpaid, and he's going to be like, I'm, I'm fucking done with this, and he's going to leave. Yeah, but Sherman went to the Super Bowl. He did. With what team, though? Yeah, the 49ers. But, yeah, the Rams won't be going to the Super Bowl. <laughs> you feel me? So all that's going to happen, I, 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 I'm calling it right now, but Rams is going to be on some, like, Sherman type bullshit thinking that he's I don't think so but he's gonna get shitted on and they don't have a lot of cap space right now I think what happens is he stays with the Rams you think Ramsey stays with the Rams the only way he doesn't stay with the Rams is if he gets traded because they're gonna give him an extension and like once you're under contract you have like you don't have a choice so if you're Ramsey if you're Ramsey what do you do Gurley just got traded you see your you now you see your team as a whole what do you do as Ramsey that's tough but that's tough well, because, I mean, like, well, I don't know, man. Like, you fucking leave, bro. You could. Man. You leave, bro. <laughs> you leave. You leave. You could. That'd be pretty nuts. Because though. what's gonna happen is we're really gonna see Ramsey sign with them, right? And I, I, I can, I, I'm gonna tell you this right now, right? Mm-hmm. So if I, if, if I'm wrong, then I'm wrong. He's gonna get a deal. It's gonna be so disrespectful. It's gonna be like not even. I see. I don't think that happens. I, I think it does. I don't. I think they construct it in a way where he gets paid more in the last couple of years of his contract when more money gets opened up. Right. Only but, only because you want him to stay there and no, not no, leave. No, well, well, obviously, yeah. So so the idea is that, like, look, this is what we're looking at. We don't have a lot of cap space, but we want to keep you. But you know Ramsey, though. No, no, no. Well, here's the thing, though. Ram, like, at this point, Ramsey's priorities have changed to getting paid. Right. Right. So they're going to offer him a fat contract. It's just that he's probably going to get a really fat signing bonus because signing bonuses don't go against the cap so he's gonna get a fat right sign. That's, he's gonna get that's a fat fine. signing bonus so the his signing first, bonus better be it's gonna be fat he's gonna have a super fat it's signing gonna bonus, have to be and he's gonna have he's probably gonna have high guarantees too and then what's gonna happen is like his first couple of years as far as like actual play like like his contract goes they're gonna be light just because of what they have available but what's gonna happen is that they're, they're gonna they're gonna like they're gonna load up his last couple of years or what they're gonna do is they're gonna do they're gonna sign him to like a lower term contract. Yeah. They're gonna give him a fat extension yeah. and then renegotiate in like Damn. two years. That's what's probably gonna happen. I feel that's like very, that's very common in the NFL. I feel give like him a Ramsey, four year contract, renegotiate after two, re up and keep going. This is what I will say. Ramsey was smart from the team that he was on. I was gonna say anywhere is better than Jacksonville right now. So like, from the team he was Rams, on yeah, to the team he went to, yeah. yeah. Very smart fucking and move. And honestly, honestly, like even though even very though the Rams may not be great, like Sean McVay's awesome. You know what I mean? And I think Sean McVay will actually like yeah. I think he can motivate Jalen cool. Ramsey to He's play. Cool. You see what I'm saying? He's cool. Yeah. yeah. Like Sean but, McVay is awesome. And I've said this before too, man. But, Coaching culture 
are extremely important and they can even get some of the I'm not gonna, like worse is a bad word, but some of the more what's the word? Um <laughs> colorful. Some of the more colorful players and like vibrant players to so, kind of you know get with the program. You see this, what I'm saying? This this is what I feel. So there are certain players that get with the program and do what they're supposed to do within that color. Um, what? What? It'll make more sense. Uh, okay. Okay. Players of color mm-hmm. will get with a certain scheme depending on the player of color. Ramsey is a loose fucking cannon, and he will do whatever the fuck he wants whenever the fuck he wants. The fact that they just let their main quarterback go, and then now you want to make this dude the face of your shit when he's gonna have so he's gonna have a personality just as strong as a Philip Rivers, but he's not gonna be viewed the same way. So you're gonna start fucking shit up, Jalen. Yes, sir. As Philip Rivers, look. What are you talking about? <laughs> what what I feel like is Jalen, everybody know he's he's stronger in it. He's he's I think a better, I think he's, a better comparison would be like Jay Cutler. Why? Because they have similar attitudes. So I I'll, I'll, I'll put it this way. Do you do you see what I'm saying? Like No. Okay. I, no. Because it's not the same. <laughs> okay. Um, Ramsey's attitude is judged way differently than Colors has ever been judged. I don't know if you can see that or not, but I, I can tell you right now for sure. I think they were a lot harder on Color. Uh, why? Because they were. No, they weren't. He was just a trash ass fucking quarterback he that was inaccurate. He wasn't. He was an extremely talented quarterback that didn't put in the work. <laughs> and see, so this is what I'm talking, talking about. Mm hmm. There's no way I'm comparing Cutler to Ramsey at all, there's, even in their position. There's no way you could compare him to Phillip Rivers. I can Bro, say that for certain. So, who? Ramsey. Yeah, the fuck I can. Why? Philip Rivers has always loved Phillip Rivers' Rivers career. Dude, was Phillip Rivers. Good. Dude, Philip Rivers cried when he left the Chargers. <laughs> like, Why? Because he loved the organization. Because he knew he couldn't fucking stand out no longer. They were done with his garbage ass play. How does that have anything to do with what Jalen Ramsey did? R- Jalen Ramsey sat out because he was sick of the organization and left. Right. It's like the complete opposite. Right. But Ramsey is actually good. Yeah, right. Yeah. Exactly. You you keep thinking that Rivers is. Rivers, and I keep telling yeah, you. He's good. He's good. Next year, uh-huh. you keep saying he's good. Yeah, he's good. When he shows up ass in the stats. I don't think he does. I'm going to call you out. And I'm going to be like, yeah, so you said this dude been good That's these okay. past couple years yeah. when he ain't been shit. Ramsey's stats, though, based on air, whatever we want to say, mm-hmm. even though he's had issues talking shit, yeah. he still he comes out in balls, yeah, bro. Yeah, Jalen Ramsey's great. What has Philip Rivers done the past couple years? Not much. Not shit. Yeah, and? Throw a bunch of it. So I, there, there's no way that. we're comparing like a Cutler or a Rivers to like a Ramsey right That's now. That's what you just did. I did not. Yes, you I, did. I'm saying he you is compare, better. You compare Jalen Ramsey to Philip Rivers. It's the only reason why I'm even talking about it. So what look, are you talking about? You know I hate Rivers. Yeah, I know you Now, do. I don't hate him. That's my guy. Well, I feel like think, he's you think good. He's overrated. That's he all. just needs to retire and be done. He's gonna be good. Ramsey he's is in good. his prime. Yeah. These are two different fucking conversations. I like Rivers is old and over with. Yes, I agree. Ramsey should be back in bank. Yes. That's just period. Yes. It's not whatever team no. he plays for. No. We see football. We know what the fuck is up. Like yeah, yeah. I'm just being as real as I can be. Ramsey will end up settling for another shitty fucking contract again, bro. He won't. Only because he he's very boisterous, and the teams that he plays for, there's always an issue. There's, bro. there's a saying in the NFL, Damian. Bro. There's a saying in the NFL. The saying is that be who you can afford to be. So, look. Jalen Ramsey is arguably the best cornerback in the NFL. Just like Antonio Brown was but, one of the best wide receivers in the NFL. But what's the argument? Huh? What's the argument, though? Jalen Ramsey can do whatever the fuck he wants because right. he's going to immediately elevate your team by being on the roster. So, the argument with it is... Jalen Ramsey maybe isn't as good as other people because he has that voice to say some shit back and talk shit to you. Doesn't matter. That's what does matter because that's why we're talking about that. You just said it. No, it doesn't. 
So why we, what are we talking about then? This is what I've said to you, dude. Like, be who you can afford to be. Like, right. It's the same conversation that you've told me that, like, any team would sign Antonio Brown. You could see him going to any 32. So Jalen's that same dude, right? Yeah, right. That's what I'm saying. So why yes. do we – What? what is the issue then? Any team would sign Jalen. So what's the issue then? There isn't one. That's what I'm saying. The, this is the issue. He's going to get paid. This is the issue. Yeah. A lot of teams wouldn't sign Jalen. They would. So he's I'm telling, too, he's I'm, too talented. I'm telling you right now. They wouldn't. Okay. Because if they would have, he he wouldn't have been on the fucking Rams, bro. Not true. It was a trade, not a free agent. So if he decides to the, do the it Jack right Warriors now, the can determine wherever he goes, and so the Rams offered up the most. Who offered the most? The Rams. Right. Mm-hmm. So if it's not about money and making an actual move for the organization, right? Because the organization mm-hmm. fucks with you. Well, yeah. Where would he go? Anywhere, wherever he wants. I told you, dude, he could play on any roster. So you think any organization, though, is going to give him his insight, what he thinks about shit, and they're going to agree and be the same way? Yeah. Any organization. Mm-hmm. Except for maybe the Packers. You, see, dude, and th- I would love for him this to This is where Packers. you're nutty, bro. There's no way. I don't think to, so. I'm going to tell you right now. What I, I mean, there's like, are there any bro. other teams? Here's the thing. Look. I've been following the Packers my whole life, so like, I understand that like they have that... Uh, it's almost like a like a moral compass kind of like they don't want to sign anyone that's shady like ever. So like anyone that could potentially like raise some bullshit in the locker room, they won't do it. That's why like even though I want them to sign Antonio Brown so bad, I don't think they will, which really fucking sucks. I don't think there's a whole lot of teams like that that's, in the NFL though. Those are not the same though. Yeah, I would sign Antonio Brown over Jalen Ramsey any day. Any day. Well, any what day. I'm saying is that they're like they're the same player though. I'm not saying they have the same impact because a single corner can't have the impact of a wide receiver. Right. But what I'm saying is that their talent and what they can contribute to their position group and the impact they can have on their team are very similar. And both of them, Antonio Brown not so much anymore, but in his prime, could both act and do whatever the fuck they want because of how important they are with their impact and contributions to their team. That's what I'm saying. I'm going to be real. I feel like... Jalen Ramsey, to me at this point in time, will be more important than Antonio Brown. And I know Antonio Brown is the shit, but yeah, no, you, uh, well, I, I mean, Ramsey I is know, in he, a bad predicament where he is stuck. And you know what he does? You, you want to know what he does if he's stuck here? Do you want to know what he does? This is what you got to do: get paid, play out your roster, put on some good tape, become a free agent, and then go wherever the fuck you want. That's what you got to do, man. And you and you know what? It's all about perspective, right? You're not in Jacksonville anymore. I, I mean, I, I don't know, bro. I'm, I'm just going to have to say Jalen Ramsey is putting himself in the predicaments where he thinks he's about to get all this money and all this shit's going to be gravy and all this shit, but it, it's not. And he could have went to a better team. I'm, I'm, I, I sound like I look silly right now. I don't think so. But here's the thing. If he doesn't get enough to satisfy him, I think he threatens to sit out. Man, look. Like, I think you're right about that. I'm telling you. But I'll, he can afford to do that. I watched his interview, right? And he was just like... Well, the interview was weird. but I, The interview was weird. It was weird. You saw it. I think he was, was just like, I think it was my agent handles that. My no, agent no, does this. That's, my the, agent. that's the right answer, though. It, 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 the reason You why, know damn well your agent don't handle that, though. No, the, your agent does handle that. They, they're the only ones that handle that. But who did your agent talk to? The team. No, your agent talks to you. No. Jalen Ramsey know what money's on the table. No. Bro. That's, that's not how it works. I, I'm gonna I'm shit you. I, I shit you right now. Jalen Ramsey knows how me. much uh-huh. the Rams are gonna pay him Maybe. and want to pay him. Maybe you don't know. With, now he did give the perfect answer, saying my agent's gonna handle that. That yeah. I, he not, only it's, said it's, that it's, it's not, if business. whatever number the Rams said was a good number. No, if they were some bullshit. No, that answer's not the same. No, you and want, I, you I wanna, shit you no, this no, right no, now. And he why, leaves. No, you want to know why that's his answer? It removes leverage. You want to know why? You're negotiating, you bro. can't. You can't say anything, bro. You can't. You can't do it. You'll lose your leverage. He said it the best that any of us could say it. He said the Rams knew what was up. Yeah. When they got me from Jacksonville, yes, exactly. So they knew how much I wanted. They yes. knew what it was gonna be. Yes. Yeah, so they're gonna pay. Him. I don't have to worry about it. Right. Now he does it, but in a way, if he get a weak ass number, I'm telling you right now, he gonna leave LA too, and he gonna be somewhere else next year, 2021. Post fucking COVID, bro, and we're gonna be saying wish it 
One of our topics is going to be where, do you where think, should Jalen go? Where do you think he should go? Exactly. No, where do you think he should go? That's what I'm saying. Where do you think he wants to go? Not the fucking Rams. I can tell you right now, I'm pretty sure he don't fuck with golf. Chargers? And now Gurley got traded? Man, he don't, man. Well, here's the thing, dude. Come Gur- on, bro. Gurley might be done. So, like, we don't even know yet. But Look, they, they don't have a running back. So. Look, if, if I got to talk about places that he can fucking go, if I if I really look into it, bro, I, I, I'm going to shit you not. I got, like, five, five to ten teams. Like... And I don't well, want to do that like, right now. Well, it's like I told you, like he can go anywhere. You, dude, you anywhere. know this. Anyone will sign him. Any team yeah. that has the bread. Any team, yeah, with the bread that'll team drop bread. it. Mm-hmm. He's and gone. Even, and even then, dude, like NFL, NFL economics, like, dude, you can like cut like one or two dudes and then restructure like six dudes and like get whoever you want. Like, you, you that's can, what I'm saying. You can make it work. Like the Packers do it all the time. <laughs> he. So my only thing with him is he's too big of a name. So. If we go to a team, you're going to already just need that piece. It ain't going to be no, I'm going to bring him here. We're going to rebuild. No. You got to bring no, him here now go, and then add. Go, so, bro. Maybe not like a contender contender. Like, but he's going to at least go somewhere that already has a team. Bro, to me, I, I'm not going to lie. You think he's just going to enjoy everybody in fucking Baltimore and bro, just like pop off? I think like or Baltimore City. or Seattle. Would be his best fucking places, Seattle, bro. Dude, if he goes to Seattle, bro, Jamal it'd be fucking Adams and Jalen Ramsey I'm and Bobby Wagner you, bro. and I'm the fucking, Griffin brothers. Bro. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, bro, that would be nuts. to me. That would be my nuts. most ideal spot for him to have went to. To me, it's fucking Seattle. He's I feel that, like he's got that Seattle attitude too, man. I feel like Russell Wilson has been waiting for another Sherman nigga, like or another like well, Sha- Shaquem Griffin is 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 very good. I feel like. Or he Shaquille. got Shaquille. lucky with fucking, f- oh, bro. D, DJ, D. Oh, Metcalf, dude. <laughs> I wanted the Packers to take. Oh him so my bad. fucking gosh, that bro. That dude's so yoked, man. Oh he's my just, fucking gosh, bro. He's gonna bro. have a great season, bro. He's gonna have a great season. Russell, if he gets the right defense, it's fucking over, bro. Seattle should have been well, winning honestly, these fucking adding Super Bowls. Jamal, adding Jamal Adams is huge for them. That is huge. It's huge. Add. Ramsey? Yeah, that would be bonkers. Oh my gosh, bro! That's, I'm that's, telling you. Well, even just adding Fuck. Jamal Jamal Adams, that's bro. already like a new legion of boom. Like you put you put Ramsey in there, like, pff, like I'm, I'm not gonna him, lie. Man. I feel like Metcalf is like the new generation of bitch. You can't guard me. Like he's gonna he, pop he, off like, next like, year for the same amount. He's gonna be like our new Michael Thomas. Like there's, I was gonna say like Megatron. You can't fucking stop he's him. He's just gonna go out there. He's dude. too fucking big. I mean that's that's a big comparison. So we'll no, see, but that is a legit fucking comparison. I, I think so. Who 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 can stop CJ? No one. <laughs> like they got lucky that he got fucking hurt and he decided to just tap it out. Yeah. Matthew Stafford would be killing it right now with him right now, it's dog. It's true, man. Like. What? They still, like, he could bro. still ball today, bro. Like, they have this nigga as a playing. fucking card in Madden still. And on defense, though. He's not even on fucking offense. Mm, that's weird. What on defense. Nah, it's not weird. Watch it. Oh, yeah? <laughs> Pick six, bro. All day. Oh, Pick six is all day. That's pretty They have cool, him on man. fucking defense. It's, it's fucking nuts, bro. Okay. All right, and, let's let's yeah. go let's let's go back He's to like the NBA really quick, just because like we we did get like on yeah fuck the NFL. Like, What's up with the NBA, ever? bro? That's well, we're my shit. Go back to the NFL here. In nah, just fuck the NFL. <laughs> but, okay, so let's let's make the rest of our picks for the first round. Bucks Magic. We're just gonna be real. That's the Bucks. Bucks all day. Yeah, it's not even. That's close. that's not close. Uh, no. Raptors and uh, Nets. Raptors too again, great. Yeah. not close. The Nets yeah. are good though. Like uh, it, it could go to six or seven, maybe. But mm. don't play with Siakam. Okay, stop okay. it. Yeah, no, I mean I love Siakam. I think yeah, he's great. I, yeah, well, he just popped off this year, right? Kawhi left, well, and he, he was, looked good. No, he was instrumental to them winning last year too. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. A lot of people are like Siakam just popped off this year when Kawhi no, left. No, true. bitch, he's always been good. Yeah. Like he was waiting to be that dude, and I just got Kawhi for yeah. one year. Fuck Celtics, y'all. Celtics, Sixers, Celtics. Um, With Ben Simmons I'm, out, I'm gonna say I'm gonna say Sixers, bro. Simmons was out. And they dusted the shit out of somebody really bad. Did they? Really did they bad. dust the Celtics? It wasn't the Celtics, right. but my point. All uh, this is all I need to know. Uh-huh. Embiid has confidence. Embiid will drop 60, 70. <laughs> he'll do. He'll do some Devin <laughs> Booker, Kawhi <laughs> he Leonard. Like he'll do but that here's shit. The thing. Don't, don't, he'll do that. Would shit. you agree with me in saying that like he would probably have to do that like every game if they were to win though? No. You don't think um, so? So it's 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 four games you have to win. Oh yeah. He has to do that at least half. Yeah. If he does it like two games out of the four, yeah, 
they're good because they still got Tobias Harris. They still they still got they do they got some guys. You know Al Horford. They, I mean, sure, yeah. And they're playing who? Do the Celtics? They, they right. I mean, Kimber Walker's been hurt. He just came back. I he mean, looks, they got Jason Tatum. Good. They got Jalen Brown. They got Thielen. They smart. they have a squad. Dude, they have a squad. But if MB goes off hard enough in the right ways. We'll see. They're a small team, so Embiid will definitely be able to have his way with them. That's for sure. Embiid can can have a field day, bro, yeah. and fuck them up. He'll so get all the rebounds. Um, <laughs> I would say Celtics in six. six. But wow. Oh, okay. But Celtics and six. if it goes past that, so, so, so you think uh, if it goes to a if game it goes seven, seven six, sixers, get it. okay, sixes and seven. Well, if it Embiid goes past plays six. off that energy, right? And there's no bigger energy. Than I'm telling you, Embiid, like I thought it that he needed energy and shit. He makes his own energy. He doesn't. He doesn't. He's actually no, been it, hooping. It helps every game. It helps him, but he's dropped. Yeah. No, he's dropped like stupid numbers. Like the crowd was there. The only people that haven't is the team and Ben Simmons getting his fucking knee broken on his thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Embiid, Embiid go hard, bro. If Embiid ends up with Miami, I'm telling you right now, Miami is running the East for a very long time. Seventy Six is a better hope. They do some shit right now and they don't fucking lose. Because if they do. They got a Devin Booker situation bro. on their hands. Like we, we need to ball out so we can keep this guy. He gonna go hoop with Jimmy Butler, bro. That'd and be and, cool. and it's gonna be over with. Jimmy Butler was just with the 76ers. Mm-hmm. For whatever reason, the 76ers felt like Jimmy Butler was not a good fit. Yeah, it's weird. It's fuck! Because yeah. I mean, Jimmy Butler don't really complain. He just goes and hoops and he performs. Well, so. he holds other people accountable too, and they don't like that. Bro, I'm gonna tell you right now, mm-hmm. if Embiid gets in that whole little y'all are just sexual ass bitches, fuck y'all, I'm just gonna go hoop with him. Miami got more than enough money. They yeah. can bring on Joel and yeah, they'll do easily. It. And I don't even want to talk about them because they got Duncan, they got out of bio, they got none rookie of the year, they got Drag it still so, like so talking about them. Who do you oh think my wins gosh. the Heat or the Pacers this year? Like one on one? Well, in the play that that's the matchup. Uh I I think the Heat the Heat kill them, dog. Like, think, like it's sweet. too many people, bro. Like I get TJ Warren is fire, but and we haven't really enough. seen OJ and, and yeah, we haven't and seen Ola Depot pop yeah, off. He's not, if I mean, Oladipo, unless he comes out. Like if he, he shows has up, to. Yeah, yeah. He I has agree. to. They can't win with just TJ Warren. The, nah. If Oladipo comes out, it could go to Game Seven. Then it could it can be intense. Yeah, but Oladipo has to do that. He hasn't shown the it thing though. is he hasn't done that, right. and TJ Warren has been doing it. I agree. So it's kind of like it's still the bubble, bro. Like yeah, yeah you're right. You're right. Mm, um, yeah, shady. Popovich shady. did announce he's coming back. I'm super hyped about it. Um, the Bulls and the Pelicans both fired their head coaches. I Do you think that. the Pelicans head coach deserved um, it, though? I think the I Pelicans, think he did, didn't. he did not deserve that. No, man. Um, like, he had them playing well. And then, like, Zion just didn't come out and play the way he was expected to. And then Corona hit. So this is where it sucks, bro. Unless they got their – like, unless they know they can get somebody that's, like, a fire coach, bro. This is where it sucks. And this is where – so they can get a fire coach. They can go for a couple of fire coaches next mm-hmm. year. But – I feel like he got fired off of shit that he couldn't control. My point, yeah. Because that's the way I felt. A lot of the games that they lost in the bubble, I feel like he would have personally played Zion, but they told him as an organization, like, you can't play him more than like twenty minutes. Mm-hmm. So if he goes more than twenty minutes, no, like we have a problem. So they lost a bunch of games because he didn't fucking play Zion. That's not his fault. I He's thought, just going by. I if, thought Zion was if probably he. Well, decided it, uh-huh. I'm pretty sure Zion would have played, and they would have been the A seed. So, it starts getting all tricky because it's kind of like, that fucking sucks. Because Gentry's not a bad coach. I can tell you this right now. When the bubble ends and all whatever, he may have, like, a job next year with somebody else, like, easily. Like, mm-hmm. it won't be, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. he's like a Luke Walton. Sure. That'll just go years. No, nah, he he's going to be on another team. He's like a Doc Rivers. I'm not gonna lie. Mm-hmm. Doc Rivers just had better teams, bro. I agree. But I agree. He just now got his squad. He yeah. had Lonzo. And, and he had like, fucking. And now he's got released. And then like, he get that fucking sucks, dude. Yeah. Y'all, y'all told me to only play Zion like 20 minutes, bitch. Yeah, I wanted like, to play him 30. Me, yeah. What do you want me to do? About like that? we lose, and you y- y'all say we lost two out of eight games in the bubble, but y'all didn't let me play this fucking dude like I wanted yeah, to. And when he I played, mm-hmm. we won. Yeah. And the king, uh, the Kings also just released their GM too. 
which I nah. think is big for a lot of people. He, uh, he moved. He moved away. Oh, where'd he Vlade go? Vladi Divac. Huh? Vladi Divac. That was their dude. Oh, so mm-hmm. where'd he go? He didn't go nowhere. He just like oh, he, he, he just quit. quit. Well, that's oh yeah, yeah, yeah. they lost their well, team. But like, what is he gonna do, right? Like, <laughs> I've been sucking all of a sudden, and you get Luke Water as your coach. Yeah, I feel that. Fuck, that's a little tough, bro. I feel that. So yeah, he gave it up. Y'all haven't made the playoffs. Mm-hmm. Y'all wasn't doing shit anyway. Mm-hmm. It kind of sucks because Vladi Divac, his NBA career, he was fucking good. Like, he was pretty good. I feel. But him as an owner. Not good. I like, mean, well, I mean, it's like garbage. Jordan. Like, he wasn't. But I mean, you gotta try it, right? Well, I mean, it, it's like the, the if you're like a relevant. legend, you yeah. would think when you get out, you could, you could coach it, and you could think so, but you can't. Well, I mean, it's like it's like it, it's, a it's like case by case basis. Being able to call that's games. what I'm fucking yeah, saying, bro. Like, it it's a case by case mean, basis. Yeah, certain people can, certain people can't. I feel like I feel like good players can make good scouts. Yeah, because they can recognize talent. So I feel like, but like, Divac would be able to bring people in, but. That's it. You should have never owned the team, bro. No. That 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 was just garbage. Yeah. Because you're 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 doing the schemes of the team and who we draft and how we playing, bro. That's way too much for you, bro. Just like why the fuck would you even attempt that? You yeah, know. Yeah, I feel and that. That's how we're gonna see, though. That's how we're gonna see. That's the kind of generation we're in. Yeah. That's so true. we will see Bosas and Kittles like on the offensive side running offenses 10, 15 years from now. That would like, be kind of cool. I don't I, think George Kittle will. I mean, it's cool, saying. but fuck. I mean, at at a at well, a it mean, depends. Cool it works, you know right? what I'm saying? Yeah. Like it, <laughs> it's it's gonna be crazy, bro. It's gonna be crazy. Yeah, you know, um, you know, you know, Greg Olson also got a uh, a job too in the Bills, yeah. Right? <laughs> he's he's still he's still gonna be playing for the, right. for the Seahawks this year, but like when he retires, like he's got a job set up too. That's what I'm saying, and and he was with the Seahawks too. Like so, bro. To me, he looks. Good I think with the Seahawks, the Seahawks or like one fucking thing away from Super Bowl. I think their offensive line is still their weakest link, for sure. But you have but, Russell, yeah, Russell yeah. so it does not think matter. Think better he'd be if he had a line though. Let's not even discuss that because I, I then could. I wouldn't know what the fuck to say right yeah, now. I'm just saying. Think about yeah, that, and like oh they have Chris gosh. Carson, but like I'm not very high on Chris Carson. Like because their offensive line is so bad, I just like I mean we talked about it last Carson week. Like he's on the off. list for like he's I don't, popped. We'll see. He's popped though, we'll bro. I don't think it happens. Let's be real. I'll eat my words, dude. I don't give a shit. Let's like, be honest, right? Mm-hmm. If Seattle's had an offensive line, bro, then what? Then what do we see them? They'd be at the top of the, of the exactly line. like yeah. fucking Super Bowl. Yeah, like, for sure. bro, there's no way. Especially like, with the roster they have, now. they're probably gonna shit on all of y'all. And this is no disrespect to Pete Carroll. I don't think Pete Carroll's a good coach. I just think that he's one of those guys I don't that think so either. He just lets his players play. He's kind of gotten lucky, some, and he's gotten some really argue, good fucking players. Some would argue and that a coach that allows their players to play is a good coach. But I don't. I, that's all he does. The only coaches that allow their players to play are who? Coaches that have good players yeah. to let them play. Yeah, 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 so yeah. I mean, I'm yeah. sorry, Pete Carroll, you. I don't think you're a good coach. Well, to Russell, me, Russell Wilson fell into his lap. Like they signed Matt Flynn that year that's after he what popped I'm off saying. in Green Bay, Look, and then they got Russell Wilson too, and then he just outplayed him. So. It, it, it's first and goal, man. On like the two, they should have won. If you can't get Marshawn Lynch in the goal it's line true, in three plays, I don't know why the fuck you're throwing an interception on a down, and then we're all blaming the shit on Russell Wilson. Like it's not Russell's fault, bro. You. No, it was a good you pass. Had, it was a good pass. It was you bad, literally it was bad, have. It was a bad call and a, a tremendous play from, it's nutty, from bro. Michael Butler. In a way, I don't think that it was a tremendous play. I feel like literally the reason he made that play is because they were like, be careful, ho. They're going to do this. <laughs> Sit right here in this pocket. Yeah. Okay. Call, this is the defense are going to run. Uh-huh. We're on like a 3-4. Sure. Or we're on a 4-3. Or we're whatever they're in, right? Yeah, yeah. Sit right here. It'll come right to you. Okay. Right? You, when, when I said that in the huddle, it sounds fucking goofy, right? Uh-huh. But then you go out and he hikes the ball, and then he literally like takes two steps, not even, one and a half, uh-huh. and then throws it right to you. Who sounds like a fucking genius? Me, right? Because yeah. I just told you like, That's bro, true. run this. He, mm-hmm. That was the, bro, yeah. I would have literally ran it. Four downs in a row. Yeah, just yeah, and then and then if you don't win, that's it. 
I'm like, okay with putting it on his that, back. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Marshawn Lynch, that year? Are you fucking kidding me that he wouldn't have gotten a fucking yard or two, bro, in four the plays? First the first call. They, they could have even ran like an option. Oh, my gosh, You know what bro. I mean? They could even with like Russell. Option. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I don't know. So we, so we can't blame that on Pete Carroll, though? No, I think we can. 100%. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's his fault. What the hell? Yeah, yeah. So that's why I'm like, Pete Carroll, I get it, bro. I get Pete all of the new year, stuff you know now, right? but... There, there's no way that I'm, I'm fucking with Pete Carroll, bro, anymore. Like, that was their Super Bowl to win again, they right? Been back. Or, like, they haven't been back to me again, yeah, right? Back to back. Because at that time, that was back to back, it was, bro. Yeah. It was like the beginning of a new dynasty. They would have ran that. like the They would have ran that shit for three or yeah, four years yeah, at least. Yeah, the momentum would If they would have won them. that one. I think so. Just, it's, it's over now, though. Yep. Because you're a bitch boy. Yeah, and mean, I'm not I'm not about to talk to Russell or nobody else about this Pete that fuck you, bro. Okay. I mean you get the calls from the top, but I know other care, coaches that get the calls from the top and the top. do their own shit well, still on that field. Yeah, it depends on who's calling the plays. But yeah, I mean at the end of the day, the head bro, coach has the final call. At the end of the day, in a Super Bowl yeah, like the yeah. moment, mm-hmm. you're telling me if bro, if you're a head coach for a team, you're not gonna let somebody else and make you that hear uh, you hear the head call from the top and they say pass it. But you know if you run it, you'll score. Yeah. What the fuck will you do? Yeah, run it. 100%. You're going to run it. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, let's throw it. And then let's yeah, let a dumb. fucking Patriot pick it off. Yeah. <laughs> Literally, dude. <laughs> you, you almost could have hiked and did a quarterback fucking sneak. Like, That's true. And yeah. got it. Mm-hmm. Like, mm-hmm. what are we doing? You you have the best qu- like running back that we've almost seen in years. It, yeah. And at that time, we were almost saying he was maybe the best. Yeah, he was. De- like, while he was playing, he was the GOAT. Bro. While he was playing. And this was after. Well, that's a bold statement. Bro. While he no. was playing, he was easily the best in the league. Because I mean, he, he had a like run, Andy bro. Andy Smith and Bernie, like Barry Sanders and all that. Like He had that like, one run, though, that put him in the level well, where he, he had, like. two beast quakes. Their long yeah. run where he mm-hmm. stiff arm niggas mm-hmm. and was run, And he ran like. He had two of them. 60, 70 mm-hmm. yards and still scored and won the game. Yep. So he put himself in a different, yeah, like. The game could have been over, but. I agree. It's, it's, it's nutty, weird. bro, to it's not weird. go to him and just throw an interception straight to just another, like, yeah. the other person on the team. Yeah, it's like, pretty bonkers. I don't feel like Russell is that bad of a quarterback to I think he's do great. that. He's extremely talented. He just did what he was told. I feel like he was talking to I don't to understand. It. I kind of blame Russell a little bit, too. Like, why didn't he audible I mean, you kind of like, have didn't, to, why right? Didn't he just, audible out of it, right? Yeah. But if you trust your coach, right? And the you feel like you I feel like the greats in the NFL make that call. And that's why keep it real you end you. up not being a great or maybe you be a great. Maybe he wanted to be the guy. This is what I'm saying. Maybe he wanted to be How the, many the times, winner, bro? You know? Do you think Drew Brees, Tom Brady, like these kind of dudes that we talk about Aaron Rodgers, They'll they call the final play yeah. for the game. Yeah, they do. But those dudes went out, caught their own play and won the fucking game. Yeah. That's true. That's the difference, bro. That's yeah. the difference with all of it. I agree. Russell should have just he should caught have his own shit, he dude. He would have ran it. Because it, what the the play I saw, Russell wouldn't have fucking ran that. Nah, there, no that like that shit was not Russell, bro. I agree. That was not Russell, and that's what sucks about it. I feel. Yeah. He's still a beast, though. Yeah, he's still yeah. great. Yeah, he's gonna be playing for a long time. Yeah. Let's 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 yeah, pivot back to Aaron hard knocks. Shit. How how'd you feel about the first episode? Th- this is okay. This is something interesting, right? Yeah. The, this first episode, of Hard Knocks, had some of the lowest ratings like in years. So which I think is weird because I fucking loved this episode. This is the only reason I feel like it's so low. I'll say something else though. I didn't even know it came on. I fucking missed it. I watched it on demand after the fact. I watched it when it came so on. So I think part of the reason why no one knows about so it is because nobody fucking knew it came on. It's Corona and it's COVID, which is my biggest point. Mm-hmm. I actually watched it when it first came out. Um, uh, but I'm the, I'm the weird dude to have like notifications and my TV would just take me to it. And it, oh, I'm like, cool. no, like I just don't. Yeah. But it takes me to shit. And a lot of times I'm like, no, I don't give a fuck. It took me to that. Now, when it took me to it, I didn't watch it, though. I was like, no, who gives a fuck? It's L.A. teams. Like, yeah. they're not about to do shit. Uh-huh. Phillips just left. <laughs> Golf ain't did shit. <laughs> uh, you know, my boy's gone yeah. as a running back. Like, I mean, he's like, what, a, like, what yeah. the fuck is this, really? Mm-hmm. You know, with the Raiders, I thought it was exciting as fuck. Well, Even though I knew they were ass. Antonio Brown. 
That's really what I was watching. Yeah. You know, mm-hmm. who do I really gotta watch with the with with LA? Either team. Well, the like, Chargers got a lot going on. Well, they yeah. did. They do. Yeah. But I had to watch the show to see yeah. that. So here, I, that's actually how I feel. Yeah. Like, I don't give a fuck about the Rams, but like the Chargers are extremely interesting for me. I thought it was really fun seeing like all the COVID testing they got to do, like to get in and all that. And I like both teams. I don't. <laughs> I think the Rams are boring. <laughs> I, I think, think the Chargers I, are fun. I think the funny part. Oh, and part, I'm a big Anthony Lynn fan. He's awesome. Look, <laughs> He's so cool. People keep talking about my boy Herbert, but you know I love Oregon, like as a college. Yeah, uh-huh. He came from there. Yep. People are saying he's going to be a bust, and he's garbage. No, I think he's going to be well. I don't if, think he beats if, Tyra Taylor, though. Bro, if we watched week. Hard Knocks. But I'm really I'm really excited to watch that. He was hitting the targets. He was. All of them. You got to remember that could be edited, too, though. This you is the thing. Hold that. on. Let me ask you a question. Sure. It could be edited, right? Yeah. Did Tyrod throw even one of those? Well, he probably did. They just didn't show it because Herbert's like because he's a just, new guy. Bro, what if Tyrod threw them all fucked up? So they decided to not show Tyrod. Well, doing you're it. living in that. Hi, you're living in. Hypothetical I'm living land right in now. not a hypothetical sense. I'm living in a realistic sense. Well, maybe because. We're going to go watch Tyrod, right? Go out and do whatever the fuck. Or we're going to go watch all these teams do whatever the fuck, but we miss these fucking training camps that are showing us what the fuck who really plays. Yeah, yeah. So then when a player gets replaced right in the season, we look, we be like, why the fuck would you do that? Or what the fuck? If Herbert replaces Tyrod, Mm -hmm. then who would complain? You wouldn't because you saw Hard Knocks and you saw well, that know. little bit of shit. I, I think there's more to it Look, than that. I, I see what you're saying, but I, I disagree. I will tell you this. Uh-huh. I saw Tyrod play. I feel like Tyrod should still be playing with the Bills, but I also felt like Tyrod um, was a better scrambler than a passer. And Josh Allen. Tyrod is, is not accurate. Yeah. That's my personal opinion. I feel like Allen took his job because he can pass better, and, and then Tyrod cool, was done. He was, he was cheaper at the time. So Tyrod decided to go to a different fucking team uh-huh. because he wasn't going to play over Allen because Allen can throw better than you. The only thing you can do with me is run. Guess what? Allen can run too, though. So yeah. what is really... I understand. So I honestly feel like... I'd like to see Tyrod get a shot. I feel like he, I hasn't, want to, he hasn't started I, for a while. So I, think I feel like cool Tyrod is like a, bri- like a Bridgewater or like a... I think Bridgewater is going to pop off. I here. feel like he's like a... Um, <laughs> like a, a Cam Newton or like a so. Well, what do this you is why I say well, that. Here's the thing: you don't know shit about Herbert, though. People not, keep not in the bro, NFL. This is all I hear. I so I like Texas Tech, Oregon, yeah, and no, so no. there's certain. They say Herbert's about to fucking flop, bro. He's like. Well, here's old, the thing. I'm he's not an saying over projected pick. I just is what they're saying. We should we should be so quick to dismiss Tyrod Taylor. That's all I'm saying. So what I'm saying is, Tyrod Taylor, new team. Yeah. Cool. He's been here for a few years, though. So look. I think he deserves a shot, man. I think he does, too. When I watched Hard Knocks. They just didn't show him a lot because Herbert's like, he was the number six overall pick. Of course they're going to show him. He's the new pick. No, that's bullshit. I disagree. If Tyrod was popping off, he would have been on Hard Knocks with the highlights. I don't think so. Bro, look, I'm a, I'm look. <laughs> just, there are people, man. there are people mm-hmm. that were hitting up Herbert uh-huh. on Hard Knocks. Like this is your show, bro. Like, oh, no, you're right. I you mean, know, we're talking about him throwing like like a really bro, nice ball. And you know, just, I'm not said, really like ball, football so oriented. Great. <laughs> on this fucking show, these niggas were hitting him up. Like, bro, there's been a very long time since we've seen a quarterback like throw like you throw fucking good well that was now, that, uh, no the, the, what you're talking about was that other rookie that came from another college and i was gonna talk about that too because he dead ass said that his college was quarterback wasn't shit bro i thought that was <laughs> what, I thought that was what, funny, what about dude. the running back that was already there that also said it i don't recall that right i recall it because i i watched that shit hard he wasn't the 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 rookie running back that they no, just signed he was the one that they already had and he Ooh. said you and he said you know what you you have a really good ball, and I'm only telling you that because it's been a very long time yeah, since no, I've seen one. Yeah, no, that was a rookie. One. That conversation was with another rookie that came from from a college. So I, I'm gonna tell you right now, Tyrod, I I have. So you're out on Tyrod. So I'm on with Tyrod. 
The thing is, I'm not off with Herbert. I'm not saying I'm off with Herbert either. People are saying though. Oh yeah, no, I'm he's not a that. bust. Yeah, yeah, he's an NFL bust. They can't say that. He hasn't played a single snap. You I'm can't a, say look, shit. Those are I, people that are just trying to have like quote unquote. I, I looked up like, like the the the, up, the shit who they said like the people that are looking good and trying to cap a shit. Herbert was definitely one of them, and I watched his actual video. I watched other people's videos and shit too. He he, he looks decent, man. Now the this is where I have like a big huge thing with you when it comes to the NFL. A lot of college is fucking options. It's yeah. an option quarterback. Mm-hmm. The NFL tries to act like they don't need an option quarterback and they want a quarterback well, that's going to hike of, it. A lot of the, co- take three a lot of the coaches are like stuck in their ways for like how a quarterback is supposed to Some play. Some but that's changing organizations now. are that's changing. changing yeah. We're going to see and, but Herbert's not really like that, though. He's like a more traditional He's, he's an option quarterback, bro. He's an option quarterback. So you think he could run like a really good RPO? Yep. Then he'll be fine. I also think Mariota could have, too. But now Mariota is starting to get to the point to where people can. He's, he's irrelevant. This is why he's irrelevant. Mm-hmm. He was an option quarterback. Before they changed. No. He was an option quarterback when he came from Oregon into the fucking league. Right. He won the fucking Heisman. Yeah, but what I'm saying is like the league hadn't changed yet. So NFL like, is yeah, not so with Yeah. We don't do options, bro. Right, you hike the ball in. and you back up three or four yeah, yeah. steps and you throw it. Yeah. Until they really the NFL decides like, okay, this is what it is. I don't feel like we're gonna really see that. Now I feel like this year could maybe be that year or maybe next year or the year after. I yeah. don't really know just yet. Uh-huh. Because we still have it'll take time. We still have Tom Brady's and Drew Brees's and shit like that coming back. If we're talking about this type of play, those dudes are old. They're not going to do no what we're fucking talking about. No, but wherever they're going, the the organizations know what they're getting there and they can make it work. We're like gonna those ha- guys, I, those guys are I talented to enough to play the way that I they're have playing to, see. to keep it going. I have to see. Now I do feel like Tom and Drew. Put themselves in perfect organizations to I agree. carry it out as long as they could. Sure. Um, we would be having the same conversation if we say Tony Romo wouldn't be hurt. If Tony Romo was still healthy right now or never got hurt like that, he would still be playing for the Dallas Cowboys and he would be like a Drew Brees or Tom Brady without Super Bowls though. right now. Right. Yeah. So he would be seen as. I mean, I, I, I mean, Drew Brees only has one, right? So. Yeah, but I mean, so is Aaron Rodgers. So I mean, so is Brett yeah, Favre. It's gonna be. It would be the same conversation. You feel me? So I don't. This is where, when it comes to like Tony, I had an issue because I just feel like he just was more so. Just he was just more so cool with just the injury. Fuck it, I'm not gonna play no more. Well, I mean, if you get hurt, you get hurt. You know, there's not really anything you can do about it. Bro, I'm gonna tell you right now. With 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 Tony's the way he popped off. To me, I feel like Tony was the closest to Drew Brees I ever seen. I know Tom Brady's popped off. I know all these other dudes have popped off, but I'm talking about like yardage in a season or like some of these records that him and and uh, bro, they're they're like fucking insane. Mm-hmm. They're they're fucking insane. They're, to me, there is a different level of talent, but it, it, if you don't. It's, Expunge yourself, then I can't really say to you with that level of sure. talent like that. I feel, I feel like Tony could have been there though. He could have. Um, to me, I feel like he was like a Drew Brees. I respect Drew Brees because he, when we look at stats, right, mm-hmm. above everybody else, they're like yeah, he's gnarly. There. He's yeah. like a 500, 400, 600 yards better than like throwing wise. Well, Tom, like, Tom Brady's like right on his ass right now. They're still kind of duking it out. The thing is, right, if, if you really think about Drew Brees, I mean, he's had some people there. Oh, yeah, for sure. But, I mean, Tom has had people, too. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. You have to if you're going to be that good. So, like, to th- perform that way, you have to have some people. For me, when, when I start thinking about the greats, this is why I have issues, bro. This is why we were talking about the NBA shit. It, it, it just we don't, be real we don't need different to, to the me. NBA to the NFL. To me, just, it's not the same. It's not the same, no, but at the same time, it's the same to me. I think Drew Brees is top three quarterback, bro. Ever? Yes. <laughs> no. Because his fucking <laughs> no. 
Bro, he's not. what he's done. Now, we can say Michael Thomas was one of the better receivers, better than. Well, it's kind of weird. Like, you, you seem to be flip flopping on your on your position right now look, because, like, you're, you're referring to stats and, like, what he's done as a whole. And that bro, being the reason why, like, bro, you see him look, that way. I go off of stats, I don't go off of fucking rings. That's, That's where I feel like me and you will, more, will connect more. Yeah. LeBron doesn't have hella rings, mm-hmm. but if we talk about overall stats for what he's done, mm-hmm. points, assists, uh, like all this shit, mm-hmm. he's like top three in everything. So for us to say since he doesn't have six rings in a row like oh, Jordan. I'm not, I'm not saying. Oh, wait. Okay. You're, you're, right. you're losing me. <laughs> I, I'm not losing you. You said. You told me. That I then I flip flop it. So what I'm saying is, in a season, bro. Statistic wise, I don't care if you win a ring or not, bro. Mm-hmm. I'm not a ring guy. I don't care about championships. Well, especially in the NFL, it's just, and I will stay. Yeah, I will stay on this in any sport. I am not a championship guy. Period. Because you can be on a team that sucks, but be really fucking good and take a sorry ass team. Mm-hmm. To the ship yeah. and not win it because you're just playing against a team that it you're just, an underdog to. Yeah. So then what is the conversation? Right? Well, yeah. So when I when I talk about those kind of things, that's what I keep it with. Drew Brees, I mean, he's kind of had a squad where he could be not an underdog. But, bro, dropping five or 6,000 yards as a quarterback a year is nuts. You can only name maybe one other quarterback that's doing that now. Yeah. Other than him doing it every year that he's played. I agree. We can say Michael Thomas is this and that. It's a dome. And at the end of the day, well, dog. Those are statements. But that is a lot, it's a lot of output. shit. Yeah. That's a lot of shit. You have to be extremely consistent to reach that in any condition. So this is what I would say, right? Drew Brees ain't the GOAT. But he has to be considered in the fucking conversation because of what he's been able well, to I can, do. I can definitely understand that. So yeah. that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, I understand. I'm not a dude who's going to say, oh, you want this many three. rings? All right, you're you're not. Yeah. To me, I base it on the team you had or the people you had yeah. you look and what you did with that. I agree. And that's what, that's what I go off of. I agree. People don't go off of that, though. They go off of, oh, well, this dude won six or this dude won five. Well, he didn't win that many, so most why? People, most people also don't look at sports like the way we do too, though. You know like, what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, like those aren't real fans. Like, those are casual fans. They just don't get it. I I just try to keep it as realistic as possible, yeah, yeah. you know. And I, and I sound goofy and silly sometimes, but well, the only to people who are uneducated. Let's be real, right? Yeah, yeah. Somebody that won five or six championships, they're probably, they probably they are good. goat. You have to be good, but you have to but, be good. But, but if you're telling me right. That I have another dude who's been to the championship or the Super Bowl as many times as you, but didn't have the team that you had. I have to say that you're better than them. But why would I say that that, that, that if technically they're better than you? Because they took a team that wasn't shit to the same spot that you went to and did just as good. Mm -hmm. Now, they didn't win or they lost, but... I agree. And so that's where it gets weird. Mm-hmm. And that's why I don't like to talk NBA because when we talk about LeBron, bro, I, I shit you not there. If we talk about the Jordan teams, the Kobe teams, like. We keep going back to the like the same conversation. I just, I just need mutual respect. For and, what? And that's all that I want. You mean like amongst players? Um, That's it. Yeah. No, I mean, I think that's fair. Luka Doncic is going to end up well, this looking. Is the thing. This is the thing, right? Be objective. Bro, Just be look, objective. Don't. But don't. people don't do that. Yeah, fuck those people. <laughs> so look, straight up, <laughs> Luka Doncic right in like five years. He's gonna look bananas. People are gonna say he's the goat. No. And if if he wins that, a championship or two, anyone that tries to say that's stupid. But why though? Well, for one, he's got Porzingis. And two, like that's what I'm saying. You're yeah, gonna go different. based on like yeah, it's different. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. No, I don't. So think anyone who like. Bro, no. That's why this is all nutty to me. That's that's why I don't. I'm like, I will go into sports, but I don't really want to get into the, like the depth of it because, I just have my own different perspectives. Because other people don't get into depth like that. Right, and so I don't want to make nobody feel weird, and I'm gonna just keep it. It, It's just it's a pointless conversation. Right, because no matter what I say, it's just gonna gonna think whatever. I'm right. That's what I'm saying. I agree. 
If 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 Luca rattles off, bro, and I gets, mean, here's uh, the thing though, dude. I think Luca has the potential to be a great, but I mean, we we don't know. He's young. He's like twenty. He's, he's already like, doing it. Or like twenty one. Yeah, he's great. But like, I mean, we'll see. But but we don't see players his age do that. So no. so then you you have just, to have a level of respect for that well, shit. You do, but as far as like comparing him to other people, you, you just have gotta, to. you gotta wait and see. You gotta wait and see. Derrick it, Rose was fired until he fucked like, all of his knees up. In know? a way, like right. But he was also what. The youngest MVP we ever fucking saw. Yeah, but like that's irrelevant. Like, so no, that's that's this is well, no, what I'm talking a, about. My, that's why it's not saying. irrelevant. It's, it's a big deal. That's like, why it's not comparing irrelevant. Comparing him, like you can't compare him to the greats, just because he didn't play as much. You have to compare it to you the can. greats. You have to compare it to the greats. Nope. Because all these greats that are there, nope. None of them ever did what Derrick Rose did. You can. So go, you can that go. means he's greater than y'all. Then I disagree. Why? Because you're only looking at it through like one lens. You got to look at the career as a whole. If we're talking greats. Now, so now you see, can, that's you what can, I'm saying. You're you making can, my you point can, when it comes to championships. You can compare him to other young MVP winners. Overall, bro. Yeah. I'm talking about overall. My point. You can't, you can't compare him to other people like that. I can tell you, you right can, now. You can say he could have been. Bro. But you can't say he is because he didn't do anything. When Derrick Rose won MVP, I would be okay with taking him against anybody else that we also say yeah, is a GOAT yeah, or anything else. And then he got else. hurt. And he hasn't been this. He's... Finally, but it's because he back got to playing like hurt. that, huh? It's because it got hurt. It doesn't matter. It does matter. No, it doesn't. Because this is the thing. Dude, Nick Collins, never been hurt, bro. bro Nick Collins bro. was one of the best NFL safeties for the Green Bay Packers in their history, bro. He got a neck injury just like Michael Irving and never could play again, dude. Dead ass and fucked it he all up. Yeah, and, and and because of that, it's irrelevant. Okay, so let me ask you he this could question: Could have been great, but we don't know shit bro, about that. This is what I'm talking about. LeBron has been. To eight straight. Why are we still talking finals? about LeBron? This <laughs> is why. Hold on. If the the shit you just said, right? Yeah. The fact that he's been through eight straight finals is that a big deal, or the fact that he's lost is that a bigger deal? I don't think it matters. That's the problem. Like, it does it's like matter. Getting there is what counts. But bro, bro, think think if you were one of these fucking dudes as an athlete, and you and you did that every day of your whole life, and the people just say it don't matter. Think about that. That shit matters. Okay, let's talk. Okay, so we were talking about Tyrod Taylor and um, Jason. I mean, uh, what's his name? Justin. Justin Air Bear. Right. And and Herbert's just going to take his position. He might. We'll see. I, I think right. it's going to be similar to a Tua situation. I think Tyrod starts and then Herbert eventually fills in. It's because we, we don't base it off of what we've seen. We just base it off of what happens at the time in yeah. the case. Well, we won't know. I mean, so, we're not out there on the field. You know what I mean? Like, I, we don't have I, that insight. I personally don't feel like Tyrod Taylor is better outside of the Bills than he's ever been his whole entire career. Well, so, we haven't seen him play since then. Right, exactly. So well, that makes you, it even more big a thing. You can't really say that because you don't, you don't have anything to base that off of. So what if Herbert's throwing better than Tyrod throws? Then let him start. Right. Yeah. Right. But right now he's the starter. Same shit with Cam, right, in New England. Like, yeah. there's so, bro, there's yeah. so many stories we can do this with. Yeah. Right. Yeah. But who does that? Who does what? Who does what you just said as an organizational move? I mean, it just it just depends on who you are. Right. Yeah. Right. If, you, if you're a Washington Redskins I mean, owner, l- I then mean, what do you do? The, the, um, the Ravens did it with Lamar Jackson. Yeah. And so did Kansas City. They did it, too. I like that you picked the two fucking teams that gave a black quarterback a chance. That has like, nothing to do with it. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't, but you literally picked yeah. the only two teams yeah. where technically black quarterbacks popped off. Talk about some other shit. I mean... It's going to be tough, bro. Yeah, it's going to be tough. Well, I mean... It, the, the situation itself is already unique. Like, to have a quarterback that's of some sort of starting caliber... And then also drafting a high quarterback, like those two things happening at the same time is is, is extremely uncommon. Right, I feel like you're talking about your team though, and I don't want no, to talk I'm about. No, I'm not talking them. about. I'm not talking about the Packers at all. I'm just but talking that, about. But that's general. what they did though. Exactly what Packers, you just said. The Packers said, won't so. start Jordan Love this year. Like that's not going to happen. Uh, so it's not they relevant will. to this conversation. They will. No, they won't. They will. They won't. I'm gonna tell you right now. Some point in time throughout this season mm-hmm. of games, Jordan Love will start a game. Okay. It won't happen. But and okay. that's what I'm telling you is the fucked up part about it. It won't happen. And that's when Aaron's going to be like, bitch, what the fuck? They won't start him over Aaron. All right. I guarantee it. Okay. We, we will see. Yeah, we will. 
Yeah, we'll see. Why would they get him then? They're gonna start him later on. To sit around for a couple of years, yeah. or to or to keep as a trade asset. Which they, one? Because I, I I I no. I think I think if you draft somebody, I kind of feel like trade asset. I think if you I think if you pick somebody up, you intend to start them. I think right. that's the whole point. At some point in time, right? right? If Aaron Rodgers keeps popping off and he keeps making himself like too valuable to lose, then after keeping Jordan Love for like a few years, they may consider trying to trade him. Just so, to, like, why do get we get Jordan up. Love? Because Aaron Rodgers has been popping off. So we, Dude, we the NFL, so we don't have no, 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 nothing. We no. don't. There's nothing that has told us right now that Aaron is gonna fall off, and we need another quarterback. The fall is hard, dude. When it comes to age. <sighs> okay, bro. It's real, dude. Look I, at Philip Rivers, man. Just a couple years ago, he was bro, popping off, and he plays like shit now. Philip Rivers and Aaron Rodgers are the same type of caliber. Um, just not dude, even age, fucking at all. Age affects all people. Okay. How old is Philip mm-hmm. Rivers? I don't even know. How does Tom Brady? They're 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 in the same upper echelon, right? They're all, they're all right? really close. Like Aaron Rodgers is just like a couple years long, younger, right. maybe. Yeah. Okay, so look, I'll put it more realistic for you. Would you rather have Tom Brady or Philip Rivers? Tom, bro, you want Tom? Probably. Because, yeah. because, well, again, you're gonna base it off of stats, right? From well, what we... no, not particularly, dude. I test, dude. In the NFL, I, I test everything. Exactly. That's, that's why, like this, Phillip, con- these conversations are a little difficult because I, I test everything. That's what I'm telling you, Philip. To me, my eye test looks like Peyton, <laughs> no. bro. When he went to Denver, Denver. Peyton Manning. Oh, when he went to Denver. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, he that's played, what he played, Philip he played, looks like, like to me like right now. Denver. Yeah. He's not gonna do shit. No. In the Colts. Like, you he's going to that. get You'll slaughtered. Y'all know that. I got to watch the season, we'll but I'm just going off of what I see. We'll give it time. But you just said, I said, pick Phillips, pick Tom right now. Who's better to you? In this, dude, Phillip Rivers has a bigger arm than Tom right now. Oh, my gosh, bro. Like, but, but why would you think that? It, I, like, I know, watching their that. games and everything that they've done, like, the past couple years— why would we think Rivers would be better than Brady He's on the eye test? He's younger. Dude, in the same system with the same tools, I think Phillip Rivers could play better than Tom Brady right now. He could. I'm not saying he will. I'm just saying it's a conversation. I will give you that you conversation. Yeah, it's a conversation. Because I, 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 I'm going to let Phil, Phillips go to his new team. Yeah. I'm going to let. No, Tom Brady's going to play better than Phillip Rivers this year. No, 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 no. See, I don't want to say that. I don't want to no, say it, that. It will happen. So then what we just talked about. The, no, then, what I just I, told you, if they played like if if they played for like the same team, like like. So you feel like Rivers mm-hmm. with Tom's team, he'd be able to do the same thing that Tom's going to yes, be able to do. Yes. Do. Now, at this point in their career. All right. I'm asking you now, this earlier, question. No, but do this you time, feel yeah. like Tom Brady with the Colts will be better than Phillips is? With the Colts this year, right? Yes, that's what I'm saying. So here's the thing that, but that that kind of goes back to where I was at though. Like they're better than each other in different ways. I think Tom Brady has a higher football IQ, so he can do more with less. But I think if given all the necessary tools, I think because of his physical advantages, Philip Rivers would excel. Right. So it, he, it's a complicated but he answer. Has better tools. My point. Yeah. So given the same tools. Yeah. Right. Is my point, yeah. Who would be better? If if they're on a shitty team, Tom Brady. But if they're on a good team, Phillip Rivers. What? Yeah. No. <laughs> I, so, I, again, you bro. To, look, I, don't, I don't know if you understand where I'm coming I just, from. I do, but I just want to throw this out there as hard as I can. I actually love Phillip Rivers, bro. Yeah, I great. think that he's really fucking great. Mm-hmm. And he should be considered a legend. He's going to be in the Hall of Fame. My only problem with him is he's doing it for too long. That's my only problem with it. Like, to me, Tom Brady's still a legend, right? Like, there are other quarterbacks that I think are still legends that can still play, though. I think I think they're all kind of in the same boat. No. Phillip, to me, is he's done. Just We'll see. Retire, bro. Chill with your family. Chill with your kids, man. Just relax, man. They, there's no reason for you to go out and have all these bad games, game after game after game, man. Do it up to your family, bro. Just all that's gonna happen is you've had a great fucking career, Philip. Mm-hmm. You're gonna keep playing too long until you're not good days, 
and we're all the stats we're gonna have is you being shitty, you being shitty, people won't you look being at shitty. That. No, no. So this is the funny part. You say that you won't talk about it. You won't. Maybe you won't. No. But no people were all they're gonna talk about is Philip is fucking garbage. Maybe. When their, he's their really opinions, he's not. Those are not valid opinions though. But they are. Because as of recent these past couple of years, he's been fucking garbage. And and if you well, wanna pull up a season really, for me. It was really only like last year. The year if, before that, they, bro, they went to the playoffs. If you wanna and did what? Well, they lost to the Patriots. How many interceptions did he throw in that game? I don't remember. Five. Okay. I remember. Okay. <laughs> Five interceptions in a playoff game, bro. It was a top 10 defense. When you should be. Oh, my gosh. I get Dude, I'm that. I'm not trying to make excuses. But, I'm just giving you context. Like, no, I that's, just need so, to understand. I like, get, bro. Heston, look. <laughs> you're, you're, you're like a beast on offense, right? Yeah. I'm defense. Uh-huh. It d- sometimes it doesn't if, matter. If I man. force you to fucking five turnovers, That's bro. That's a lot of turnovers. <laughs> and I'm talking about, like, interceptions, yeah, though. Yeah, yeah. Not like... Like fumbles or what? Yeah, fumbles. I'm talking about interceptions, bro, where you're literally just... Your dude just ain't with it, bro. He's just throwing it to us. I feel. If the dude has been in the league 10-plus years, would you expect the dude to throw that many? No. You don't. But, I mean, other guys have games like that, too, though. Like, sometimes you have bad games. I get that, but you do. I just but can't. Some could argue that that might have been the beginning of his downfall, and last year was a further reflection of that. I'm so telling you, bro. I see what you're talking about. That's to next me. Year, that's what next it is. Year is going to show what it is. So I don't see Tom Brady. I don't see Drew Brees. I don't see Aaron Rodgers. Like all these dudes that have been in the league for multiple years, I don't see them going to a playoff game and throwing five picks, bro. It's just not going to happen. Maybe two. Maybe three. Most of the dudes that I just named, one. And you better hope that you get one. Yeah. These dudes are accurate as fuck. Let's also say, I think Bro, it also goes like, without saying that, like, Phillip Rivers is not on their level. Like, he's a Hall of Fame quarterback, that, but he's, so, he's not those guys. I just feel like he has to retire. Like, he's just done, bro. <laughs> okay. And the longer he plays, there's just going to be more shit that I could fucking talk about. I feel. Now, right now, I sound silly, right? No. But in but a couple of weeks from now, right we'll when it, when the NFL season pops off, we'll see. And he's looking sh- here's the thing, silly though. as fuck. Here's the thing. This is what I said before. He Bro. doesn't he doesn't have a lot to work with there. He's got a couple of good running backs. He's got like one or two decent receivers. However, he has the best offensive. Are you NFL. fucking kidding me? He did not have a fucking squad to work with. He didn't, dude. I've told you this so many times, Damien. He didn't have an offensive line in L.A., bro. Their offensive line was trash. And when you get older, you need time because you can't move because you're old as fuck. Like, I've been telling you this, bro. Like, you need to understand. Like, they had weapons, but, like, if you're getting pressure one and a half seconds after you snap, you can't do shit. So this this is what I'm you talking about. You can't do shit, bro. If the quarterback I have, if I know my line is garbage and I can just defend him and he can still Dude, make plays for me, old. I will keep him. He's Guess old. what? He's old. Yes, he's no, old. No, so everybody knows. Even if I Bruh, get the line, Bruh, he's still gonna how suck. Did, dude, how did Tom Brady look last year? He looked like shit. Mm-hmm. No, he didn't. Yeah, he did. He For played half like of the shit. season, it was like, it was like a half and no, half. He played like shit. You know why? Because his offensive line fucking sucks. It's because his defense pulled through for him. So yeah, at a point in time, he looked like he had the best defense ever. Then he looked like he sucked. Guess what? He never sucked. Out of all of that, because not he's a good quarterback. So true. even when it looked like he sucked, he still ranked. Tom Brady played like shit last year. Phillip Rivers looked how good the whole year? Oh, uh, he played like shit too. The whole year though, right? They both played like the shit. The entire. They both played bro, like shit the whole year. Not the same. Yeah. Not. No. No. Yeah. <laughs> bro, I. Yeah. No. Yeah, man. No. Yes. No. Okay. No. Okay. Now, you, you do more NFL to me. Yeah. There's no fucking way, bro. I'm putting. Tom Brady on a level of fucking Philip Rivers, dude. That's not happening. I, I think I think you have trouble like acknowledging where people are like at the moment of the career that we're referring to, right? Like just like our right. previous conversation, like with mm-hmm. LeBron, like right, right. They're both old as fuck. But I could go off of LeBron because LeBron is in the seventeenth season, still dropping numbers oh, yeah. like he's a rookie. Well, so well, right. Maybe I'm a little construed yeah, when it well, comes to other just, shit. This is just but the dude that I follow is right. a beast. Well, this is what I'm saying. Like, 
I, here's the thing. Like, it's just at this point of their career. Now, at, in a career as a whole, they're not the same. No, not at all. Like, not even. No, like, I'm talking about right now. Yeah, right now. Right. I think they're close. No, I do. No, I don't. I think Philip Rivers is fucking done. I think Tom Brady can run two more, two or three more years. Tom Brady's gonna play way better than Philip Rivers this year, but that's because he's got a squad. Because they're the better team, right? Yeah. That's what you're gonna say. He has a squad. So he has a. So you told me my boy has a coast nine. He has a good squad, a good line. Yeah. But he's got like, Rivers he, better pop off then. I'm. We'll see. He better pop off. If he does not, I don't care about a line. The same reason I don't care about Dak having a line and looking like ass over well, these yeah. past years. I respect that. It's the same thing, bro. Well, the only difference it's is that Dak thing. also has like baller receivers to throw to. Philip does not. Like he's got Ty, and I don't know, man. Bro. Like Andrew Luck and Ty. Like I mean, they went to AFC championships. Bro. So I mean, this is why that. I get mad at at Cowboys. You don't just have receivers to throw to. He has tight ends. He has running backs. Yeah. He like th- like literally there isn't like. Nothing that should stop Cowboys from yeah, offense. I agree. Now, when you start looking at the defensive side, right? Some people want to be biased and they want to Dude, be weird. That defense they is so have they're so people, people say top five. Let's really look at their now. defense. That shit is like top three. They're, yeah, that shit. It's fucking dude. If you look solid. at if you look at the acquisitions they made this off. Like, dude, they got look, Gerald bro. McCoy. They got Everson Griffin, bro. Dude, this defense is gonna I, be I, fucking. I, sick. I'm telling you right now, bro. Bro, dude, dude, fantasy. Get the Cowboys fucking defense. So Dead look, ass. look, bro. I might be picking them. Hey, up. look, look. Guess this. If the Cowboys still don't make the playoffs next year, then what? I think they make it. Everybody no. can talk shit. No, like, maybe, maybe not. If you're if you're <laughs> a no. fan, right? Outside know. of other than the Cowboys, yeah. We have so much ammo to go off of. I agree. Like, you've had a squad, nigga, for years now. Mm-hmm. That can't even make the playoffs, bro. It's true. And if they do, like, they're like a first-round exit. And our division is weak. <laughs> Let's be real. It's the Giants, Redskins, couple of, us a as couple, the Eagles. A couple of irrelevant teams Look, and you guys. The Rams and the Dallas Cowboys. I mean, the, the, the Eagles and the Cowboys. It's literally. And let's be real. That's not going to change it. Well, well. Well, it's going to change for us because well, no, no, here's the thing, black though. people sitting the fuck out. Alex Smith just oh, got promoted from the pup list. Don't, don't, he don't, just got don't let me find out. <laughs> he just got promoted from the pup list. Don't, don't let they me find out, bro. gave him a champagne shower today, I'm bro. not about to fuck around dude, with you, bro. Dude, he's clear, dude. He's going he's gonna to be at practice. I'm he's not gonna about be at to camp. fuck around with you. Yeah, but he's with um the Redskins. That's well, what I mean, I'm saying. The, the football team. That's what I'm saying. But, I mean, he could get swindled, though. He could. I just... <laughs> I'm really excited Look, bro, for Alex Smith, dude. I don't want I'm him so to hyped. come to our team because I'm going to tell you right now, to me, I think, bro, I am not going to lie to you right now at all. I feel like he is fucking underrated. Alex Smith? Yes. Oh, yeah, me too. For I sure. swear. Yeah. So, to me, if we fucking got him, fuck Carson and fuck Jalen, bro. He oh, would no, no, no. smash he's gonna, them he's gonna play for without Washington. a doubt. He's going to play for Washington. I'm oh, so dude, dude, I'm get salty, this, dude. bro. We were just talking about this, bro. bro. Dude, dude, dude. <laughs> they're, they're trying to get they're trying to get Dan Snyder to sell his team too. Like like all the owners, like like all bro. of the all the all the shareholders, bro. they're trying to get rid of his team, bro. They could get rid of their owner. They got Ron Rivera. You got Alex Smith. You got that defense. You got you got Chase Young, dude. Bro, they could become so good. Hey, check they're this also though, a right? top five defense, bro. They're gonna be so <laughs> hey, good. I got something for you, bro. Dude, if Dan Snyder leaves, that's it. That's bro, it, bro. Think about this shit in, in in a retrospective, right? Like on a crazy perspective. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alex was with Kansas City for a little bit. What if they still would have fucking had him with Patrick on the side and all this shit? Well, they did for a bit, but like Patrick right. Mahomes played so well, that right. he, just, he just pushed him out of his position. So again, what if they say, well, shit, Patrick had to pop his whole knee back out like last, last oh. year on the field. Well, Matt if Moore, they had Matt, Alex Matt, as a backup, Matt Moore bro. played pretty well, but that would be pretty bonkers. Oh my gosh! Bro. Oh my, bro. Yeah, that would be pretty. It'd nice. be like Kansas City, like for like the next five years. Could like, be. yeah. Oh my, bro. Did you, did I'm you, gonna be. I feel like Alex to me, bro. When he's been healthy, to me, bro. He's. I don't he's watch a, a lot of NFL. No, he's like top ten. He's been to me the best quarterback. That's a bold statement. He's been the best quarterback to me, bro. That's a bold statement. He's been the best quarterback I'm to really me, I'm really excited to see what he could do with Washington. 
I think that's going to be a lot of fun. So kind of sucks that he lost Darius Geis, but he still got AP out there. Out you know what's there, crazy? You know, chugging and going, man. Geis will be back. Like I looked into that bullshit, Geis. He's not going back to Washington. Um, they cut him. He'll he's play not. Else. But the thing is, he'll play. He's like else. he's free. Yeah. Because they he gave got, him well, a free pass, cut. but they gave yeah. the other dude like the charge, yeah. which oh, was that's, bullshit. Oh, that's cool. That's right, which Washington, is not cool. They won't turn around. They gave the other dude the big shit, and like the other dude, like nobody really knows. Like, so yeah, guys like, got it yeah, like on the, you know what I'm saying, on the easy, sure. easy. Guys gonna either get hit or guys need to like make these moves now. Uh, he is. Um, you know he will. I feel like Alex Smith, bro. To I, me, dude, bro, was he, like a top three quarterback to a, me the last time yeah. he played, and he immediately makes the, re- the 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 Washington football team better. So let me ask you a question: The last time we saw him play. He what was, would you was, rank him? He, huh? What would you rank him? The last time you saw uh, him play. It's hard. I can't think about that. I mean, that's like, I'd have to think about like who I, all the other active I, quarterbacks I, were. I would think like, he would go back, but I can't. I, I would think that. I could I, say he was top 10. Top easy. five. I think you'd say top five. Maybe. If I could go back and like review the tape, Bro, then, like maybe. Nutty. He, I think he, that. There um, were people arguing that he was on his way to an MVP fuck. that year when he got hurt. I kind of low key thought well, that. No, 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 in Kansas City. I, mean. I thought it was his year. I, I liked him with Kansas City. I, I've i actually always liked him. Any team he's played for. I thought he was, he's was he been underrated, bro. And people thought he sucked and he does not. And he does not. Uh, but I just feel like his injuries has, has fucked him up. And now at this point in time, like, who really cares, bro? You just get hurt. So now we see you as just like. You can play good for a game or two, but then mm-hmm. you're just going to get hurt. Like, I feel nah. So then, nigga, we don't have the same respect. I I feel like he's fucking top five, bro. Okay. I, I swear. I, I just – that's just me. Okay. Um, if he plays a full healthy season with Rivera, that – it'll be good. Our division's fucking capped off, yeah. bro. They, they, they'll, and, and, they'll and win I'm the pissed. division. I think so. And I'm going to be mad, bro. Like, with that defensive squad, too, like, I honestly, like, that's it. Oh, that's fucking gross. I think so. It's fucking gross. I'm not gonna lie, man. Ooh. It's fucking gross. Do you think um, that players kneeling and not kneeling could create any kind of like rifts or conflict in the uh, in the locker room for certain teams? No. Oh, well, yeah, I do. I think it could, but because like we got that little sneak peek like during Hard Knocks, where like that one dude I was saw like, that. you know, like, I saw my that. family. So no, this is I the thing. Stand. This is the thing. Some of the other thing. guys kind of like, what the fuck? Like, this is. This is all I'm gonna say about it, bro. I and think teams with strong culture will I'm be not fine. Gonna but say I think anything. teams with like more questionable culture so, could turn toxic. Everybody has their own generation, what they grew up with, what they're what they're used to, right? Uh huh. This is why I have a problem with this kneeling shit being a huge deal, and it's not really a huge deal. The people that kneel is because of police. Brutality. Yeah, some people just refuse to acknowledge That's it. it. They just don't understand. That's that. all it is. Yeah, I know. And it's white people dying crazy. Hispanics getting shot crazy. Yeah, black people not, getting shot not, crazy. It's not just like it's not against black people. It's, it's not just fucking like, saying in general. Fuck the flag. Like yeah, fuck you. Yeah, that's stupid. So I have a huge problem with that because yeah. a lot of people that kneel for the shit have either had a family member that's been in it or they've experienced some shit. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. I agree. I just and thought, so was, I thought for that people was to come out and be angle. like, "Oh, uh, well, my family like they served and they, you know, and you shouldn't do that, man. It's if you stupid. don't shut the fuck yeah, up right now, dumb. because it's boy, dumb. your people like, you know what I'm saying? Do you yeah, like I think you should care more about the people you share your locker room with, like at, at that moment, like bro, the, the, like when it comes to kneeling, it's not disrespect to the flag. No, it's. It's brutality. I agree. So people are taking the the emphasis of certain things and they're making it other shit, and yeah. that's not what it is. Mm-hmm. So then it makes these kind of conversations seem fucking weird when people talk about them. Like to me, I feel like it's fucked up for people to, on top of knowing everything that's going on, to still try to make it seem like people kneeling and doing the shit. It's like a problem. Like what the fuck is wrong with you then? Yeah. Like you're you're on super fucked up shit. Like, you're on super extra, like, what the fuck, bro? Yeah, yeah. Like, these people are telling you what they're doing it for. Like, they're doing it for, like, other shit. When you make your point, though, to the media and all that shit, you're talking about some other different shit than people are even fucking looking for and yeah. talking about. Uh-huh. So then it's not legit. So then if somebody want to tell you some shit, you can't get fucking mad. Yeah. Even though they're on your team. Like, but you, but 
But then what ends up happening, right, is then everybody else start looking racist or like whatever. And to me, bro, it's just getting goofy. I feel like either they're going to have to give some type of um, a stipulation, right? You put your hand over your heart or you kneel. Or you salute. Well, they're, or they're talking about putting like, their hands they're, they're on gonna the, have to the put like a sh- Like shoulders or something. They're going to have to put something on it. Because yeah. all that's going to happen is, like, I, I could say black people will kneel. Or just anybody will kneel. But it looks like a problem. But the thing is, if we're talking about freedom, right? Well, I'm not talking about any of that. Just in the locker room. So this that's is what I'm, I'm saying, about. though. Yeah. Because the locker room accounts to this. All these people fought and died and did all this shit for freedom of everybody to Uh protest and do what they want, how they want to. So for y'all to still have a fucking rule on that, this is where this this shit is fucking is fucking weird, bro. Like (laughs) it's so weird. So supposedly, right? All this fucking fighting, all this war, all this shit was supposed to be to levels of. Freedom for this, freedom for that, freedom for this. But the thing is, if somebody still does something yeah. within the freedoms that they should have, sure, it's still a problem. Well, so, so then that's yeah. not fucking freedom. Then. I, I get it. So if I go talk to my grandpa who said I, I can kneel if I want to, sure, yeah, because that's what he fought for. Well, do whatever. Then tell me I can fucking kneel. Here's an idea. Here's an idea. Hear me out, right? You know what I'm saying? How about like, you just do whatever the, the fuck you want and not let other people influence how you act. How about you just do whatever Bro, the fuck you want? So this is the only this is the only reason why I have a problem with all this shit, right? If people want to stand up, if people don't want to nail yeah. or do nothing, yeah. Typically, nobody says nothing about that. Nobody talks about that. The only shit we're talking about is the people that are like still kneeling throughout it, or. Well, but no. they deserve the same fucking well, rights. Here's the thing: I'm talking just in the locker room, and I don't think anyone in the I'm locker room. I'm talking about well, teams. Some bro. people could. Well, that was you, what I'm saying. You saw some hard people, knocks. Some people could he, be. Bro, he was plexing. <laughs> he was plexing on his teammates. A he was bit. like, "Well, I feel like like it was kind of weird. Nobody should kneel or nobody should." He well, kind of no, no, was no, no, giving no, that no. like he wasn't saying other people. He was but, saying, but himself. you knew, like no, you could I feel it. Like I don't think you just said it was weird. You felt it. It was just look. It was strange, like, just seeing the interaction. But, like, I don't think Bro. that guy by any means is trying to influence other people to not kneel. So, this is the thing, right? If you don't want to kneel... And don't. I don't give a fuck. Yeah, who gives a shit? So, I'm, I'm chilling with you, right? But You're like, my boy. But, like, don't say shit to nobody else. This is the thing. Yeah. If I want to kneel and people ask me about why I'm kneeling, I'm going to say it. Yeah. Now, that, if I say some shit that offends you... It shouldn't offend you because no, you're standing your, that's, up. That's your problem. But yeah. you're still commenting on like why well, we shouldn't be kneeling. We'll see. I don't know. If and NFL, that's the I fucked don't up. know if NFL bro, players are. Watch different. it, bro. I'm telling you, that's why all this Black Lives Matter shit is all well, starting well, to get well, fucking not, not in the NFL. crazy. Not in the NFL. You just saw your boy do it on yeah, fucking one hard guy, nights. and then they educated him, and like we don't really know where that's at. Like, right? Not yet, right? We gotta wait for the Ooh, season. Yeah, up. we'll see. This is, bro. I'm, I'm I'm shitting you right now. You're shitting me. I'm shitting you right now. Okay. He's going to feel the same way, nigga, the whole time. He he would have only said that if he's going to feel the same way. Sure. Like, his, like, view on it yeah. ain't going to change. Right. So, he's only going to say it uh-huh. if he really fucking means it. Now, I don't feel like you're like him or you're racist or you're like, no. but at the same time, right? You kind of look like he do. So <laughs> oh. then, I mean, so I can make that. That's weird. I can make that jurisdiction, right? To run like, no. well, then I need to say certain shit around Hessen or do certain shit around Hessen. So then, that's what I'm saying. That's stupid. You, you would never have to do that, though. No. <laughs> you never have to do that. Well, people just need to have a conversation. And this, like, if you're, not, bro, if you're not mature enough to have that conversation. This is why I told problem. you. I just told you last week. Mm-hmm. Black Lives Matter to me. It's not that serious of a deal, bro, because I don't feel like people are looking into... No, it's a serious deal, but the, some people aren't taking it that seriously. They're not looking into the deep aspect right. of it. Right. like, And so, we're going to do whatever we want to do, bro, right. in like a couple months, bro, ain't nobody about to be worried about this shit no more. We'll and we're going to be I right back so. to whatever. And I don't then, think... So. Here, you want to know why? You want to know why I don't think it goes away? Because it has such a deep root and impact on the people in sports that like, I don't think it's ever going to go away. Not for a long time, anyways. Like, at least in football and the NBA. Like, it, it, it directly affects them so much. And and here's the thing. Sports are arguably one of the most popular things in all of America. And, like, all of these millions and millions of people are watching this. Like, I feel like there's just no getting away from it. 
I feel like, like no, I understand. Like in the public eye, like politically, and I stuff, like what it'll you're probably saying. Fall off, but like it's not going anywhere. So this is why I like what you're saying because those players so, are leaders, and like they're not they're not going to let a cause that they care about exactly like fall off. So you just said there will be no way, right? Yeah, that you can like ignore it. Yeah, people are still gonna fucking treat it like shit. Yeah, yeah. No, but there's no way to ignore people. it, like you yeah, said. So. Fine. Those people are just going to be looking like, yeah, God damn, bro, what the fuck? Like, yeah, right. That's fine. But it's not fine to those people. And then that's their problem. If they don't want to watch well, the sport, they don't have to. Bro, this shit's and about to get... those people are fake as fuck. They all say they're not going to watch the NFL. You're full of shit. You're going to watch it every Sunday. I'm telling you right Shut now. Shut your goddamn this, mouth. This shit's going to get super crazy. And the only reason that, that I talk like this is because... I don't know. Maybe I just this. I just this is what I'm used to my entire life. So mm-hmm. if I sound like I'm saying something weird, yeah, I've experienced this my entire life. Mm-hmm. So I could be talking about some weird shit, yeah, but it's weird to you because you ain't never experienced it. Uh, no, but if I, you experience this it. the same shit, yeah, yeah, no, I get it. Yeah, right. Yeah. I know you. So this is all that's gonna happen, right? Uh-huh. Black Lives Matter is gonna push so hard, then like. It's gonna make so much shit fucking weird, and then other people are gonna start seeing it's how it is. Thing, man, it only and gets weird if people make it weird, bro. Like, just have a conversation. It's but, gonna but, but get people, weird. People aren't comfortable doing that. I don't. I don't even feel like Black Lives Matter is a weird conversation. It's, it's literally just saying like well, it got politicized. Like, right, that's but, the problem. But bro, like, all it people. is is, and then at that point, it's not about the conversation anymore. It's like about what side you're on. Exactly. Like, that's not What's the conversation just dumb right as fuck? Right. Yeah, it's stupid. Look, look, let's. <laughs> we love y'all. Love us back. Yeah, that's yeah, that's it. That's all we're saying. Um, five on-field officials and two replay officials have opted out for the season. I saw that shit. So we do have to worry about some replacement refs, which is going to be fun. 80% of the Packers' season ticket holders have already opted out to attend the season. <sighs> and I thought I that was a, that. I thought that was a really interesting t- statistic. Opted out. Yeah. Out. Yeah, yeah. So that's season ticket holders. So I think that's really interesting because a lot of people are talking about, like, opening up the stadiums, right, and, like, letting people go. Like, Jerry Jones said that, like, they're going to have fans there, and he might be on a future shit list. I'm going to keep it real with you. He's a fucking that's a fucking idiot. stupid choice. I was going to put on my shit list tonight. Well, but yeah, I'm, he hasn't done anything bad I'm yet. I'm going to wait yeah. until <laughs> right. the fans catch yep. corona, I agree. and then I'm going to put on Same. my fucking Yeah, so <laughs> y'all, y'all be ready for that. <laughs> but um, yeah. I thought this was interesting because, like, we're talking about, like, you know, fans showing up and stuff. With 80% of the season ticket holders already opting out, who's to say that people would be comfortable enough with showing up even if they opened up the stadiums? So, this is why I have a problem with Dallas. Like, I've never hated them. Uh, Just on my end, I like the Eagles better. They've always been a better team. We're rivals, so I talk shit. Um, However, I can tell you this right now. Um, As soon as I saw, like, Jerry was going to be bringing fans and all that shit i just i just can't man i I just can't fuck this this is why i talk shit about dallas because but the thing is dallas always talk shit about everybody else like i feel like he's making a huge mistake if he's gonna let fans go i feel like at the end of the day he's not really gonna let fans go in there jerry jones does do stuff like that sometimes like he he might just be talking out of his ass um, I don't well, feel like he's NFL. talking out I mean, of his NFL ass previously. though. I feel like he's literally gonna have like that whole shit open. Y'all come in if y'all want to. Y'all do whatever. <laughs> yeah. And all that's gonna happen is the Dallas Cowboys gonna be the first fucking case of the fucking NFL where sure. we fucking see this fucking Corona happening. Well, I mean, Texas is already one of the most hit states to begin with, so it's just it's uh, not a I good. I mean, that's what they tell us though, right? Well, uh, yeah. Right. Yeah. They tell us that we were we were over dramatic and crazy, but bullshit. Yeah, it's all bullshit. Okay, we're out of time. We are out of hell of time. We've been recording. We for didn't like, even get to fucking half of a I bunch know. of shit. We went off on a lot of tangents today, so we're going to catch up next week for sure. I just want to continue to have the same message. You know, we're all working on ourselves. I hope that y'all were able to enjoy listening to us today. Shit got a little weird. Shit got kind of heated. <laughs> Me and Damien are definitely in our fields. But, you know, I hey, love you, bro. We're homies. Everything's definitely cool. not experts. Yeah. And the shit is always going to go into yeah. a stupid field Hell yeah. that we're hoping none of y'all can relate to. But we also <laughs> hope that you can relate to and be yeah. like, bro. Hell yeah. Yeah, that's what so, it is. So, you know, <laughs> we're done with our mental vacation. So, oh my you know, gosh. I just want all you guys to go out there and just go do one thing to get better today. Just pick one thing, whatever it is. It no matter what it is. Hell yeah, we're all getting better. Mm-hmm. And uh, we'll see y'all next week. Bet. <laughs>